according to God, my dear child, please take extra caution in the next 24 hours. You are about to experience a wave of negative energy. Make sure to watch this video until the end for your safety, my little one. Always keep in mind that you are special to me, and my love for you is unwavering each morning when you wake up. Consider this moment a gift I've given you, a chance to grow, study, and love. You possess unique competencies and abilities that set you apart from others. Your strength mirrors a part of me, which is truly remarkable and unparalleled. Challenging situations and moments of doubt are opportunities for personal and spiritual growth. I am constantly there for you, providing guidance, comfort, and the support you require during moments of solitude. Reach out to me in prayer. I typically tune into your voice. I value your thoughts and your heart dearly. Life is a roller coaster of ups and downs, yet my affection for you stays steady and strong. You are never alone, as I am with you in every moment of your success. I'm thrilled for you. I'm here to support you through your setbacks. Remember, no mistake is too big for my forgiveness, and no distance is too far for my love to reach. I have equipped you with courage and removed fear of love, hatred of hope, and melancholy. Utilize your talents to positively impact the world, promote empathy, and bring light to dark situations. You exude a vibrant energy that brings joy and rejuvenation to those in your presence. You are now compensated not by external validation or opinions, but by the simple fact that you belong to me, captured in my image. You deserve love, appreciation, peace, and happiness. Avoid comparing yourself to others as you are on a unique and individual journey crafted specifically for you. Remember to forgive, just as I have forgiven you. Allow the release of anger and bitterness, as they only harm your soul. Choose love and forgiveness to discover freedom and peace through loving others. You express affection towards me, as we are all like family to me, and I long for us to coexist peacefully and lovingly. Take a look at my proposal for you. Typically, clarity is key, even when the journey feels chaotic. Rest assured, I'm guiding you towards a serene destination. Have faith, even when the path seems uncertain. I aim to offer you a wish and a future. Find moments of stillness and acknowledge my presence. Amidst the quiet, my essence may be revealed to you, offering solace and energy. In a world filled with noise and distractions, amidst the quiet moments, my voice may come through gentle and comforting. You mirror my affection and carry my brightness. Live your life in a manner that reflects my greatness. Spread kindness, practice fairness, and journey alongside me. You are a cherished little one, and your life has a purpose. You're striving to fulfill that desire, and you'll discover genuine joy and contentment during times of uncertainty. Behold the splendor of the world I've crafted, the expansive sky, the profound oceans, and the myriad of life. Many of these showcase my passion and imagination. You as well are a carefully crafted masterpiece with purpose. Remember, no matter what challenges come your way, my love for you will never fade. There is always room for determination, even in the midst of feeling lost, and healing is always possible, no matter how broken you may feel. I am your father, your creator, and your biggest cheerleader. Rely on me, and I will support you through the most challenging moments, my precious little one. As you journey through life, hold on to those truths close to your heart. You are special, valued beyond measure, and never alone. Embrace each step, pour your heart into every moment, and rest assured that my love for you knows no bounds as we journey together. God's words convey a message of unwavering love, support, and comfort. Being reminded of our worth and the love surrounding us can provide comfort and energy in our everyday experiences. According to God, you can rely on Him to guide you through life's challenges and be there for you whenever you need Him. Life is a journey filled with unexpected twists, obstacles that seem impossible to overcome, and times when the light seems to fade from the path ahead. In those situations, I am here to guide you be your beacon in the dark, and provide shelter during the storm. Every day, I observe you with care, interest, and support through your challenges. 
and I celebrate your successes. I have an infinite, unwavering, and absolute love for you. Amidst the roaring waves and howling winds, rest assured that I am by your side, keeping you close and keeping you safe. You are never alone as my presence envelops you. Trust acts as a bridge, linking your heart and mind, strengthening with each leap of faith despite doubts. Recall the times when I've proven to be reliable. Remember the times when my grace sustained you and my strength helped you push through when you thought you couldn't continue. I comprehend your fears, anxieties and concerns. I listen closely to your prayers and the quiet worries you share in the darkness. I want you to know that I'm always here to listen and support you, ready to offer guidance and share my ideas with you, crafted to inspire optimism and purpose. Despite the uncertainty of what lies ahead, it's clear that I'm guiding you with love. Your journey through lifestyle is unique and full of opportunities to learn, grow and evolve. Every task you encounter is a chance to build more trust, strengthen your faith and depend on my strength. I am crafting you, shaping you into a vessel of my affection and readying you for the unique roles only you can fulfill in times of vulnerability. Remember, my strength shines when you feel lacking. Just a reminder that I've equipped you with everything you need. You possess my spirit, a wellspring of bravery, knowledge and power. Rely on me and you might discover that my grace is sufficient for your needs. I am the one who provides you with the perfect and most thoughtful gifts. When you require assistance, turn to me and I will provide it. Rest assured that your provision will arrive at the perfect time and in the right way, even if it may not always align with your expectations. I freely offer forgiveness as a testament to my love for you. If you find yourself struggling, just reach out to me and I'll help you get back on your feet. There is no mistake too splendid for my mercy, no failure that can separate you from my love of forgiveness. Discover freedom, peace, and the opportunity to start fresh. Remember to also extend that forgiveness to others, just as I have forgiven you. Forgiveness mirrors my love, building bridges for reconciliation and recovery. Choose the path of love and peace over bitterness and anger. You have become a shining symbol of my kindness in a world that craves it. I appoint you to a life dedicated to helping others. Through serving you, I have discovered the happiness of giving and the wonder of unconditional love. Observing the world around you, recognizing the needs of others, and cultivating compassion through acts of kindness and words of encouragement. You are my guiding light in the world. Feel free to share your story, your faith journey, and your testimony without hesitation. Others may find hope, ideas, and the bravery to have faith in me in their own lives. Your lifestyle reflects the goodness and love that I embody, shining through moments of joy for all to witness. Remember to express gratitude for each authentic element that originates from me. Your heart will recognize my kindness, bringing you closer to me in gratitude. Walking through life reveals contentment, joy, and true richness. Always keep in mind that you are a child of the King, chosen, loved, and saved. You have a purpose and a calling waiting to be fulfilled. Approach that endeavor with confidence, knowing that I am by your side, leading you through every stage of the journey. Join me in embracing your dreams, hopes, and fears. Place them at my feet and witness as I skillfully address all issues on your behalf. I believe my methods surpass yours and my thinking is more advanced than yours. Embrace surrender to experience the freedom of living fully, trusting in the best plan for your lifestyle. As you navigate the challenges of life, dear child, remember my words. I am here to guide you and support you whenever you require assistance. I am the steady presence during turbulent times, the calm amidst disorder, and the hope when everything feels bleak. Let's support each other as we navigate this lifestyle together, heart to heart. This message conveys God's constant presence and guidance during life's challenges. He stresses the importance of embracing religion as truth and depending on his expertise and knowledge. God is always there for us, providing shelter, strength and help in times of trouble. 
Life's journey may lead us through challenging times, but we can find strength in the belief that we are resilient. He accompanies us through each challenge, supporting us when the burden becomes too much to bear. He vows to lead us through these narratives with a gentle yet impactful touch within our faith. It's important to shift our focus from our current circumstances and instead see the greater purpose that God has for us. He provides a purpose for every challenge, a learning opportunity for each task, and a commitment to growth and progress. Challenges we face serve a purpose, molding us into who we are meant to become. We are encouraged to embrace living in community, offering support and encouragement in our interactions with others. We can showcase God's love by extending the same forgiveness grace and compassion to others that we have received. We have the power to influence those around us by demonstrating how to align with God's love and faithfulness. God emphasizes the importance of scheduling a private appointment with Him through prayer, meditation, and reading His Word. By following those practices, we can stay connected with Him, allowing us to listen to His voice and follow His guidance. Through this journey, we discover the resilience to confront life's obstacles, the wisdom to make sound decisions, and the serenity that transcends all understanding. He consistently assures us of His love and care. He emphasizes that nothing can ever come between us and His love, no matter how far we may wander. His hands are always open to welcome us back. His affection is not dependent solely on our actions, but on His consistent character. We are called to have faith in God's timing and His plan. Although we may not always comprehend the reasons behind certain occurrences, we can trust that everything is being orchestrated for our benefit. He urges us to fully trust Him, not rely on our own understanding, and to acknowledge Him in all our actions. God's message to His children is filled with hope, love, and reassurance. He serves as a reliable mentor during life's challenges, always ready to provide assistance, protection, and guidance to ensure our well-being. Believing in Him means He promises to guide us through life's obstacles, be our constant companion, and lead us into the fulfillment of His purposes for our lives. Guided by God, we approach our destiny with assurance, knowing we are always supported by His eternal and unwavering love. You are my beloved child, cherished from the very moment I first imagined you in my heart even before you were formed in the womb. I knew you, I planned for you, I dreamed for you, and I set a course for your life. This is brimming with purpose and significance. You are truly one of a kind and irreplaceable to me. Every day, I keep a watchful eye on you with boundless and unwavering affection. My thoughts are as numerous as the grains of sand on the beach when I think of you. I value every moment of your life and appreciate every breath you take in joy. I share in your sorrows with you. I am here to provide comfort and support. You are never alone, as I am always by your side through every season of your life. You hold a special place in my heart above all others. I understand your thoughts, aspirations, worries, and aspirations. I hear your prayers and cries, always ready to give you the energy, peace, and direction you need. Support and trust in me, rely on me, and let me be your sanctuary and source of strength. You are a reflection of my love and inner glory, captured in a photo. You possess items and skills that have been entrusted to you, not just for personal gain, but to positively impact others and honor a higher purpose. I've provided you with all the tools necessary to fulfill the purpose I've assigned to your way of living. Challenges you encounter can lead to personal growth and deeper reflection, so don't let them discourage you. Remember, strength is most evident in moments of weakness. Despite your vulnerability, you are resilient because you are empowered. Live life to the fullest, embracing joy, love and peace in every step you take. Follow my instructions as the path to true freedom and happiness, not as a burden. My laws are crafted to protect, guide, and enhance your life, and they achieve that purpose. I am naturally inclined to offer abundant forgiveness without hesitation. No matter what you've done, no wrongdoing is too great, and no error is too significant. 
to seek forgiveness, approach with a contrite heart, and I will cleanse, restore, and guide you towards new beginnings. I bestow upon you the same name as others, for I hold great affection for you. Show compassion, kindness, and mercy. Spread kindness to those nearby. Shine brightly in tough times, providing inspiration and support in showing love to others. Your love for me shines through when you selflessly serve others. Keep in mind that the challenges and difficulties we face in this world are temporary, but my love for you is eternal. Keep your focus on the invisible, as the visible is temporary, but the unseen is everlasting. Life on this planet is fleeting when compared to the eternity ahead. Avoid storing treasures on Earth that can be destroyed or stolen. Instead, focus on accumulating treasures in heaven that are everlasting. Your heart tends to follow where your treasure lies. I have amazing plans in store for you. Plans for your prosperity, filled with hope and a promising destiny. Trust in these plans. Despite the lack of visibility ahead, my approach and insights surpass yours. Visualizing the entire picture, I will lead you step by step towards your future. During times of uncertainty, remember that I have the power to calm storms, walk on water, and bring peace to troubled hearts. Feel free to reach out to me, and I'll come up with a solution. I'm here for you in difficult times. I can provide you with unique and special services. Realize that you are valued with a love that lasts forever, a love that strives to always support you, a love that gave up everything for you. You are cherished as my child, and nothing can ever separate you from my love. Neither trouble nor complication, persecution nor famine, nakedness, danger nor sword can separate you. I am convinced that neither death nor life, angels nor demons, present nor future, powers, height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation can separate you from my love in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Dear toddler, walk confidently and with anticipation in the knowledge of my love for you. Embrace it as the driving force in your life, the wellspring of your vitality and the creative spark behind all your actions. You are my beloved and I am very pleased with you. Embrace the freedom and joy of my love and share that love with the world around you. Consider that by doing this, you reflect my heart to those eager to witness it through your interactions with others. Let endurance, kindness and humility lead your actions. These virtues stand out in a global society that frequently prioritizes the unconventional. Your product has the power to inspire, influence and guide others to find me through its display of elegance. Your grace is truly remarkable, creating ripples of affection and forgiveness that have the power to change lives. Please consider keeping your heart open to those in need, offering friendship to the lonely, supporting the weary and helping those who are struggling to serve the least of these. You serve me. Your life may be a testament to my love and a dwelling instance of my gospel. Reveal me through your words and actions. Embrace the community of believers as you are a vital piece of the puzzle. Each member holds great value. Collaboratively, we can achieve great feats for our nation. Supporting one another and uplifting each other is important in faith. Strength lies in unity and joy lies in companionship. Devote time to being in my presence, seeking me through prayer and my word. In these serene moments, you'll uncover profound tranquility, insights into life's decisions, and the assurance of my affection. Let my words resonate within you, providing guidance and clarity for your path. As you approach me, I can also approach you, unveiling more about myself and my intentions for your life. Always remember that you are a citizen of heaven. As you journey through life, keep in mind that your true home is with me, with an eternal perspective. This global opportunity is fleeting, yet what lies ahead is nothing short of magnificent. Previous evaluations should inspire you with joy and confidence, no matter the challenges ahead. Dear child, life is a voyage encompassing both moments of splendor and periods of adversity in every chapter. I am here to support, care for, and treasure you. You are always within my sight, never beyond my reach, and certainly not forgotten. I assure you that my commitments to you are solid and unwavering. 
Your purpose is to lead a life that honors me and brings you genuine joy. Discover the abundant lifestyles I have promised to fulfill your purpose. Living a remarkable life is not about avoiding challenges, but finding peace and joy amidst difficulties. As you journey through life, know that my love for you will always be there to support you, guide you, and illuminate your path. Keep your gaze locked on me. Your coronary heart is tuned to my voice, and your palms are geared up to do my work. Do not forget, you are my valuable baby, and I like you more than you could ever recognize. This love is your electricity, your safe haven, and your best treasure. Embrace my love fully and let it spread to others so they can experience its depth and breadth. Move forth, my child, with my blessing, and let my love stroll inside the actuality of my presence with you these days, day after day, and for all time. You are mine, and I'm yours now, and for all eternity. Via those phrases, God affirms His unwavering love, presence, and guidance in our lives. He calls us to live out our faith in tangible ways, touching others with His love and drawing them toward Him. With God's love as our foundation, we will navigate the complexities of life with confidence, understanding we're never alone and without end. God says, my pricey infant, Jesus says through prayer and assertion, we are able to damage down strongholds and declare victory in Jesus' name. The fact is a cornerstone of your religion, a weapon of religious battle. This is powerful through God to the pulling down of strongholds while you stand at the guarantees of God and declare them in Jesus' name. You interact in a struggle that has already been won. Prayer isn't always only a recurring or a ritual. It's a lifeline, a dynamic verbal exchange with the creator of the universe who loves you deeply in my view. You draw near to me and I draw near to you. It's in these moments of communion that you are strengthened, recommended and prepared for every proper painting. While you pray, trust that you will get hold of it. For religion is the key that unlocks the strength of prayer. Approach me with confidence, knowing that I'm paying attention to you, that I can see you, and that your faith in prayer has moved me. You could lay down your burdens at my feet, casting all your cares upon me, for I take care of you deeply. But prayer isn't just about asking, it's also about asserting the truth of my phrase over your existence and situations. My word is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, able to penetrate even the dividing soul and spirit joints, and marrow judges the thoughts and attitudes of the coronary heart. While you claim my word, you align yourself with my will and launch my electricity into your situation's strongholds, whether or not they be of fear, doubt, tension, sin, or any form of bondage collapse. Under the authority of my name, Jesus has given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to conquer all the energy of the enemy. Nothing will damage you on my call. You have won over every pressure that stands against you. Do not forget, the war isn't against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, in opposition to the government, against the powers of this dark global, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly nation-states. Therefore, put on the whole armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you will be capable of standing your ground. And after you have finished everything to face firm, then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and together with your feet equipped with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, similarly to all this, take in the protection of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. That is the word of God. Pray at all times inside the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all of the saints, and pray also for me, that words can be given to me in establishing my mouth boldly to proclaim the thriller of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains, that I may additionally declare it boldly as I ought to speak. Victory is not just a future hope, it's a present reality in Jesus' name. You are more than a conqueror through him who loved us. 
For I am positive that neither loss of life nor existence nor angels nor rulers nor gifts nor matters to come back nor powers nor intensity nor whatever else in all creation might be capable of separating us from the affection of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Live on this victory, walk on this reality and stand by your religion. The arena you see around you is not all theirs. The spiritual realm is real and the struggle is ongoing. But fear not now for I've conquered the sector in me. You have peace in the world. You may have tribulations. However, take heart. I have triumphed over the world. So, my dear baby, be diligent in prayer, steadfast in faith, and formidable in putting forward my word. Via prayer and statement, you spark off the strength of heaven, implement the victory of the move, and appear the kingdom of God on the earth as its miles in heaven. Permit your prayers to be packed with thanksgiving gratitude, aligns your coronary heart with mine and opens the door to my advantages. Reward me in the hurricane, for praise is a weapon that confounds the enemy and releases my electricity. Praise me in spirit and fact, for such worshippers, the daddy seeks as you stroll in obedience to my word. As you live out your religion in your everyday life, you will see strongholds fall, chains break and freedom Reign for the Spirit of the Lord. There may be freedom. You're referred to as liberty for living a lifestyle that is abundant and unfastened, bearing fruit that lasts, and glorifying my name in all you do in each project and every trial. You aren't fighting for victory. You are fighting for victory. The victory has already been received via the demise and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Your function is to put into effect that victory to stand by the truth of what has been achieved and to walk in the authority that has been given to you. This power isn't to your private benefit, rather, it is for the advancement of God's kingdom, for the restoration of the sector and for the liberation of folks that are under the electricity of evil. You're called a mild in the global, which is a town set on a hill that can't be hidden. Your existence lived in communion with me turns into a beacon of wish and a testament to my strength on your journey. Do not grow weary of doing it at the right time. You will reap a harvest. In case you do not give up, preserve the seeds of faith, love, and righteousness, understanding that every act of kindness, each word of fact, and each prayer of faith is an effective tool in my palms. While you face competition, take into account that it's far from a possibility to witness my strength at painting. I intend to damage you. However, I intend to properly perform what is now being finished for the saving of many lives. Stand firm in this guarantee and permit your religion to be unshakable. Include the community of religion, for you aren't meant to stroll this adventure on my own. Collectively with fellow believers, you form a formidable force in opposition to the powers of darkness. Encourage each other, pray for each other, and bear one another's burdens. In solidarity, there's strength, and in love, there's victory. Allow my spirit to guide your heart as you proceed. Be touchy to my leading, for I'm able to direct your paths and open doors nobody can close. I can make my way into the desert and streams inside the barren region. Agree with my timing, for my timing is ideal, and my plans for you are for your desire and for my glory. Expensive baby. Keep in mind that the remaining victory is already secured. The day is coming when every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the consideration of God the Father. With the result in mind, striving to hear the phrases, well executed, excellent and trustworthy servant, you're my treasured infant and I really like you with an eternal love in each moment. I'm with you, cheering you on, equipping you, and celebrating each victory with you. Stand strong within the faith, be brave, be formidable, and understand that through prayer and assertion, you're victorious in Jesus' name. This message is a call to action and an encouragement to embody the electricity of prayer and the authority of our declarations in Christ. It reminds us that we aren't helpless in the face of challenges, but ready and empowered to conquer them and bring about change in our lives and in the world around us. Through faith, solidarity, and reliance on God's word, we can break down strongholds 
and claim the victory that Jesus has already received for us. God says, My dear toddler, speak God's phrase boldly and with confidence, knowing that it has the power to alter your situations and the world around you. The words you communicate carry weight, specifically since they're my phrases filled with life and strength. My phrases aren't only a series of historical texts. They're alive, lively and sharper than any sword. When you claim my word over your existence, your state of affairs and the sector, you launch my power to paint and result in trade. Your tongue has the electricity of lifestyles and demise. And when you pick to speak life with the aid of my word, you open the door for my blessings, recuperation and miracles to take place in your lifestyles. Faith is born by hearing God's word. Therefore, keep that in mind. By repeating my words, you not only strengthen your faith, but also have the potential to plant religious seeds in the minds of others who listen. Never let the magnitude of the situation or the difficulties you confront discourage you. Even though David faced Goliath armed only with a sling and trust in God's promises, Goliath nonetheless managed to escape. You may confront your giants with confidence, knowing that I am with you and fighting for you, and that my word spoken by you is a mighty weapon, just as David triumphed over his enemies. If you want to know how to answer someone, you should always respond with kindness and grace, letting your words be seasoned with wisdom. My words aren't always meant to condemn. They may be tools for redemption, healing and restoration. It is meant to be used for building up, not tearing down, for encouraging, not discouraging, and for delivering light, not darkness. With conviction and clarity, I have given you my word. Pay close attention to what you're seeing in my life. It will provide you with endless wisdom, inspiration, and insight. You will be better equipped to use it effectively in any situation the more you dive into it. If Joshua wanted to be successful and affluent, he was told to think about my statement all the time. Just follow his lead and my words will bear fruit in your life as well. Together, your witness and my words may make a powerful statement. You may strengthen your religious armory by sharing what I have done for you. You may encourage people to believe by sharing the story of how I've worked in your lives. And you can remember my constancy even when we face new and difficult challenges. Delays or setbacks must not demotivate you. My word will not return to me empty, but I will achieve my goals and fulfill my purpose. Even if you don't understand me, think about my time and my methods. I have wonderful plans for you, including providing you with a future and inspiring you to continue your spiritual path. You aren't alone. You are a member of a large family of believers, both now and in the past, who have also clung to my promises finding strength and encouragement in their testimonies, just as your story will do for others who come after you. I will be by your side, no matter where you go, so be fearless and ambitious. You need not be scared or dismayed any longer, for the Lord, your God, is with you. Now, more than ever, your faith in me is most clearly shown by your fearless and confident proclamation of my word, which serves as a lighthouse for others leading them to me. Engage in conversation via prayer as you utter my words. Prayer drives your pronouncements. You join your will with mine in prayer as you proclaim my phrase, and I will direct your lives according to my intentions. I will intervene on your behalf in all your affairs. You shine like a beacon in the night, like an unhidden city on a hill. Let the light of my sentence illuminate you, dispel the shadows, and lead others to the truth. At this particular moment, you have been chosen to openly proclaim my message and maybe change lives. I am releasing prisoners and breaking bindings, so take up the mantle of religion, equip yourself with my word, and be fearless, my dear. Pronounce my word with conviction, with the knowledge that it's powerful, living, and able to alter not only your circumstances, but also the world at large. Your voice has the power to bring paradise to earth by bringing my nation into your lives and the lives of those around you. May the impact of my words be seen in your life. Stay away from the facts you assert. Walk obediently and see how I overcome obstacles for you. 
Keep in mind that I am speaking with authority, not yours, and that my sentence will always achieve its goal. Allow my word to serve as a compass and guide you through all times and all difficulties. Discuss it with your loved ones and your way of life. Praying to Jesus might help you speak with him when you are feeling sad or depressed. Know that I am primarily near you when your coronary heart feels heavy and your spirit is depressed. I feel your anguish, your anxiety, and your uncertainty. I can see the tears that fall from your eyes when you think no one is looking. Keep in mind that you have many supporters. I am always there to listen and provide you with company, just a formality or a routine. There's been much correspondence with me. Jesus Christ, bless me, says your Heavenly Father, who loves you no matter what. You may be open and honest with me without worrying that I will judge you. Let me know what you're going through, what you don't understand, and what you want. Tell me anything that's on your mind and heart at this time of sadness. I care about you and your well-being. Finding the right terms to wish for could be challenging, but that's okay. Your Holy Spirit is pleading with me in ways that words cannot express. Even a simple cry to Jesus is a tremendous prayer that reaches me. Even when words fall flat, I can read your emotions. Jesus Christ, my Son, lived through human suffering and felt your pain. You do not forget him. He was hated and he was sent away. Suffering is something that a man of sorrow is no stranger to. A high priest can understand your frailties and provide you with consolation. When you turn to him, he will lighten your load and give you peace that exceeds understanding. Your sentiments are important and legitimate, and you should know them well. It's okay to not be okay right now. Just keep in mind that they are not the be-all and end-all of your life. Plans to give you everything you want, and a future where you can trust that I am working in your life, even when you can't see it are in my plans for you. Is my word serving as a lamp to guide you and a lamp to light your way, or are you seeking comfort in it? My word is real and reliable, and it may be a source of comfort and strength when circumstances are difficult. Let the scriptures that speak of my love and faithfulness cling to you like a rock that keeps you steady and at peace. Additionally, I encourage you to seek assistance from others. There is life in the network, and you are a part of it. If you have loved ones who can pray with you, lend you a hand, and remind you of my love, they will be an enormous help at this difficult time. Occasionally, people's kindness and concern make me feel present. Keep in mind that getting well is an adventure in and of itself. There will be good days and bad days, but no matter what, you are still making progress. Give yourself time to heal and trust that my grace is sufficient. In the depths of your sorrow, my strength is perfected in you, and when you are weak, you are powerful, because my energy is complete in you. Keep an eye out for the lovely things in life. They are constant reminders of my love and presence with you. Everything from the sound of a newborn's laughter to a little moment of calm in the middle of mayhem may be there. These are gifts that I hope will offer you joy and hope. Additionally, ask God to give you the strength to do the right thing. Seek professional treatment, join a support group, or make healthy habits a regular part of your life so that you may become well. With me by your side, bolstering and guiding you every step of the way, the most important thing is to stay focused on hope. Despite the gloom of the night, the dawn brings delight. There is more to your narrative than what you are experiencing right now. I am the deity of rest and rejuvenation. My little child, come to me in prayer, and I will bring glory from shame, pleasure from sadness, and praise from despair. No matter how you're feeling, just be honest and open with me. Let yourself relax in my company, and I will fill you with my tranquility. You are loved more than words can express, and I am always by your side, ready to listen, provide solace, and lead you through life's ups and downs. Praying may help connect your coronary heart with your thoughts. With this link, you could find the power to face the day, the inspiration to dream of what's to come, and the serenity to ease your troubled soul. Jesus is the one you can always count on to be there for you. 
familiar, caring, and never leaving your side. The assurance of my love and presence in your life, together with your communication with Jesus via prayer, may raise your coronary heart. No matter how bad your sadness becomes, my love for you, my little child, will never fade. I am at your side, preventing you from speaking. I am softly urging you to put your faith in me, rely on me, and let me guide you through this difficult time. Along with being your buddy and healer, I am also your father. Walking through this valley with me will make you stronger, and you will bear witness to my love and fidelity. Think about how, when you're with me, anything is possible, and you're never alone. Let this season of prayer be a time of growing closer to me, strengthening your faith, and relying on my strength. You make it possible for me to live more freely in service to your existence, which brings rest, restoration, and tranquility. When you're feeling down or sad, I want you to know that my love is complete and that being in my presence may bring you comfort. Keep holding on to this passion you have. Keep your focus fixed on Jesus, who went through the cross for the joy that was to come. You may find hope and strength in his resurrection from the dead. If you're feeling down, his call might help you break free from your sadness and find relief. No matter how difficult it is or how unmotivated you may feel, I encourage you to further immerse yourself in worship and praise. In an atmosphere of praise, reward redirects your focus from your circumstances to my sovereignty. It serves as a reminder of my magnificence and helps you identify as my cherished baby. Feeling better and more optimistic, recovery sets in. Take it easy and be kind to yourself in this way. You should not hurry through the recuperation process since it is an experience. Along the path to healing, I will be by your side every step of the way. Even though you are weak, you are strong in me because my grace is sufficient for you and my power is perfected in weakness. The story of your life is an ongoing narrative, my precious kid. It doesn't stop with this bankruptcy of despair. You could discover something that brings you joy, fulfillment and beauty. I value your life and have excellent intentions for you, designed to bring you success and avoid disappointment. Goals that will provide you with hope and a future. The broader view is clear to me. I am handling everything on your behalf, even if you do not share my affection for you or my sense of time. My hand has been guiding you even in the darkest times, even in issues that don't seem right now. One day, you will look back and realize this. My darling, please pray for me. Let go of your worries and find peace inside yourself by placing them at my feet. Get in touch with Jesus and let his peace, which is greater than any knowledge, guard your soul and thoughts. I love you more than words can express, and I promise that when you continue to pray to me, I will provide everything that you need. Let the warmth and tenderness of my love enter your whole being. Let it push out the shadows and fill you with light. Rather than describing you through your sadness, my love for you would do the describing for you. Come out of this valley with me, because my love may bring you healing, freedom, and life. Thus, cling firmly to my hand. May your faith deepen, your burden ease, and your soul be revitalized as you go forward. You are my beloved kid, and I know that we can conquer this together. In most cases, he pays close attention and empathizes with your suffering. No matter the hour of the day, he will comfort you and encourage you. While you think, I am here with you, listening carefully, you are not alone in your suffering. I can see your hardships and understand the depth of your emotions. When the pressures of the arena become too much to handle, I'm always here to provide the comfort and encouragement you need. Know that I'm willing to discuss it with you if you need me to. You may put all your weight on my large and strong shoulders. Because I provide profound and personalized care, you may put all your worries on me. You may lean on me and find solace in my presence during your darkest hours. I feel your suffering. My son Jesus lived on earth and went through pain, betrayal, and heartbreak. I no longer see him as a spectator, but as a participant. He experienced grief, isolation, and rejection. 
Because of this, you may have faith that I will understand your anguish on a deep personal level while you pray to me. Jesus exemplifies my deep affection and understanding for you. My phrase is a source of strength and comfort in times of grief. My unfaltering love for you is declared. Stories of recovery are included and promises of desire are found inside its pages. These words of mine are not hollow. They have the power to heal your broken heart and lead your tired spirit. Please feel free to be completely honest and upfront with me. Avoid trying to hide how you feel or the pain you're experiencing. Over carefully crafted words that hide your soul, I choose the unfiltered prayers that are full of your genuine emotions. Your sincerity has the power to bring us closer and in our bond, you will find solace. Please understand that healing takes time. It is a process, a path that we may travel side by side. When you're dealing with difficult feelings or situations, it's important to be kind to yourself. I, the deity of comfort, am here to ease your burdens. Take my time into consideration and know that I am orchestrating your recovery in a way that benefits you. Seek for the subtle manifestations of my love and presence. They may lie in the beauty of nature, the generosity of a friend, or an unexpected serenity in the midst of disorder. I just wanted to let you know that you are loved and not forgotten. Those are my whispers to you. Stay connected with those who understand your pain. Share your beating heart with a group of people you trust, whether that's your immediate family, friends, or church. In your lives, I have found people who can be my hands and feet, offering you encouragement, practical help, and support. Remind yourself that you are not your suffering or your circumstances, rather fellowship, and the weight training that results from sharing your load heal you. You are precious to me, my darling, and I will adore you forever. You have infinite value. Your worth is immeasurable. Through our connection, you have the opportunity to uncover your true self and find meaning in life, despite the challenges you face today. I can now do more than just console you. I can also help you rise above your circumstances. No matter how difficult things become, I can muster the strength to overcome them and see the fulfillment you want. My light will dispel your lowest points, reviving you and filling you with happiness, just as the sun emerges from behind the darkest clouds. A tranquility that exceeds all knowledge may be yours through the power of prayer. In Christ Jesus, it will protect your mind and heart. The Holy Spirit will make intercession on your behalf even when you are unable to speak. Your groans are embraced in prayer, unable to be spoken in words. My assurance is that you are sure and unwavering, even when you are unable to pray on your own. I will never leave you or abandon you. The bereaved are near me. Support others who are struggling to cope with your suffering. When you are weak, I am there to console you. In times of sadness, I am here to be your rock. I provide you with delight. Bring all your worries, anxieties, and suffering to me, my little baby. Let me hold you tenderly while you weep or talk to me. I will console you, mend your broken hearts, and strengthen you all together. You will come out on the other side of this valley stronger, having seen my love and fidelity testify to you. Allow this season to bring us closer together as you give my strength more thought and lean on me more heavily. Leaning into my affection, will bring you more than just consolation. It will alter you. Your sadness will be transformed into joy, your anguish into an opportunity for my splendor, and your grieving into dancing. My darling, keep on pursuing your dreams. Not every story ends with a state-of-the-art scenario. It is with a pen of grace and redemption that I have written your existence. When you're with me, you can let your worries melt away and everything is within reach. Keep in mind that I see you as more than just a victor. You may now do more than just survive the hardships that lie ahead as you make your way through the lowlands and over the mountains. Because when you're in my presence, no matter what challenges you encounter, they are all chances for your faith to deepen and for my power to be shown in your life. I call upon you to acknowledge me as genuine, 
not because of any special power you may possess, but because my power is magnified in your weakness when you feel like you can't go on. At that point, I get hyperactive. Put your faith in that force and let it propel you forward. As you go, you'll see challenges transformed into opportunities and your faith will move mountains. In my presence is plenty of pleasure. Therefore, I welcome you to discover delight while we are together. Knowing that I am by your side may bring you immense joy and serenity, even while you are in the thick of a painful experience. In this journey with me, may this joy be your fortitude, a source of hope that renews and sustains you. Always be on the lookout for ways to love and help others. Helping other people may be a form of self-care. By sharing my love with the people in your life, you may see firsthand how true it is that giving is much more wonderful than receiving. Donating your time, energy, empathy and love is just as important as donating cloth. You may not be able to perceive it as a tapestry, but know that I am dependent on your very life, my darling. I can see the beautiful scene in which this is being knitted, but you can only see the tangled mess at the bottom. You won't believe how I've perfectly planned your life for my honor and yours until you witness it for yourself in the future. So hold on to your faith. On the surface, it may seem like you're slipping away, yet deep down, you're being rejuvenated daily. Fix your gaze, not on the visible, but on the invisible, because your transient concerns are leading up to an everlasting splendor that surpasses them all. Because the visible is transient and the invisible is eternal, please know that my love for you is eternal. I typically listen since you are dear to me. My heart goes out to you and I'm here to console you and encourage you. If you are tired and burdened, you should come to me so that we may rest together. Along this path, you will find inner calm, contentment and pleasure. Join me, depend on me and follow the roadmap of my love and power. I will be by your side from now until the end of time so you will never be really alone. Have confidence in me and know that I can help you overcome any obstacle. Pray to me, rest in my promises, and go on confidently knowing that I am with you, supporting you, and guiding you into a future full of joy and hope, because I am your God, your comforter, and your everlasting Father, and I will never let you down. In me, my beloved child, you will discover everything that you need. I come to you brimming with admiration and appreciation. Every second of your life, I love and care for you. Every instant of every day, I am watching over you, showering you with blessings both obvious and hidden. Every breath you take is a gift from me, a constant reminder that I am here with you. I am grateful for your faith, which is as little as a mustard seed, since it is the driving force behind our relationship every time you seek my belief. No matter how tough things become, my heart is overflowing with joy for you. I take great delight in your faith, which is more precious to me than gold. You are rewarded for your perseverance, since you always manage to get back up after a fall. The electricity is a manifestation of my energy flowing through you, even if you may not always be able to see it. What I have instilled in you is evident in this. You are not a worried person, but someone who is strong, kind and self-controlled. You have my deepest gratitude for your selfless attitude toward everyone you meet. You show the world my image and my emotions with every loving gesture. To those who are lost and destitute, your love is like a beacon that illuminates the path and gives them hope. I am grateful that you sought me out so that you may study my methods and follow them. With each stride you take toward me, the path of righteousness you're pursuing beckons you closer to me. Inviting you in with wide arms, I am present to fulfill your needs. Your prayers are like music to me. I am thankful for them. I value every word you say and every sound your heart makes. I really value your prayers because they are a sweet sacrifice that shows how much you rely on me. Because you are humble enough to acknowledge your desire for me, I am able to paint a vivid picture of your existence, and for that, I am grateful. Through your humility, my grace pours, bringing healing, restoration, and tranquility. 
I am appreciative of your joy, since it is the fuel that keeps you going when times are tough. If you are happy, it means you believe in my kindness and my promises, and your trust is being tested. It lifts the mood of others around you and becomes infectious. You demonstrate the essence of my love through your generosity, and I am grateful. An effective form of worship and a show of thanks for everything that I've provided is your readiness to share what you have. Because of your selfless commitment to helping others, I am blessed to have you in my life. Your unwavering commitment and lack of selfishness reflect the true nature of my son Jesus, who came to serve rather than be served. You are adding a brushstroke to the masterpiece that is my kingdom with every act of service. Your tenacity is a sign of the Spirit's growth. As you come to believe, it will come to pass in my time, and for that, I am grateful. Your unwavering commitment shows how much you trust in my plan, which is always working for your good and my glory. When you choose peace over conflict, forgiveness over resentment, and charisma over criticism, I am glad. Wearing these choices allows you to live out the grace and forgiveness that are freely offered to you, exemplifying the essence of the gospel. In your life, this letter has been recognized and studied by everyone. I thank you for being a witness. Sharing your story of faith, hope and love has the potential to reshape electricity in a profound way. People are motivated to seek me out and discover the abundant life I provide because of you. I am grateful for your worshipful spirit since it brings your praises, prayers and obedience closer to me, which in turn honors me. You show your love and commitment to me and recognize my supremacy in worship. For every second that you decide to believe in me, even when the future is cloudy, I thank you in prayer. Your trust in me and my abilities to fulfill my promises to my precious child is a beautiful manifestation of your faith, and I am very grateful for your consideration. Please know that the love that fills my whole being is reserved only for you. Just knowing that you exist, that you have faith, and that you love me really affects me. I see the magnificence of my work as a reflection of my own greatness. Along with being your father, you are my beloved kid. The relationship between permit and permit continues to grow in love, appreciation, and depth. No matter where you are or what challenges you may be facing, know that I am by your side. Your affection for me is constant. I will not let you down, and I have wonderful things planned for you. As you continue on this journey with me, may this knowledge bring you calm and confidence. So, my dear one, live a life of trust, devotion, and submission. Let your light shine, and know that I am always by your side, encouraging you, directing your steps, and enjoying every moment of your life. You have the chance to make a difference in the world, deepen your relationship with me, and bask in my love with each passing day. Walking hand in hand with me, learning and growing as we go, is more important than reaching a destination on your trip. Rest assured that you have my unwavering support for every effort. Keep in mind that my energy is perfect while you're weak. My grace is sufficient for all your needs, and my power will be shown to you in every moment of your trials. Furthermore, you will see my handiwork in your triumphs. Whether it's via the beauty of an introduction, the voice of a friend, or the soft murmurs of the Holy Spirit, I want you to keep your heart open to the many ways I am communicating with you. I am always in touch with you. Listen carefully and answer my questions, because it is in my words that you will find your way and your life. The potential difference you could make in the world should never be underestimated. No matter where you go, my love, desires, and beauty will be unveiled through you because you are my ambassador. You are proof of my kindness, and by being in this world, others may feel my love for them. Patience, kindness, and service should characterize your stay. By doing so, you are contributing to the efforts of my nation. When you feel scared or uncertain, think about the promises I made to ensure your existence. Rely on such assurances because they constitute your solid foundation. Regardless of the passing of time, my word will stand firm, and my loyalty will endure forever. I assure you 
I have not and will not let you down in any manner, so you may agree with me. Please know how proud I am of you as you go on with your journey. I like seeing your growth, your accomplishments, and the faith-filled actions you're taking without knowing the outcome. Because it is always done out of love for me, I am pleased by every religious deed, sacrifice, and endeavor. Share in my joy while we're both feeling well. When you're happy, I'm happy, and I like being with you. I treasure these moments of joy and gratitude with you, and I'm honored to share in your festivities. Seek solace in me while you are grieving. Those who are crushed in spirit are near me, and I am with the brokenhearted. Comfort and tranquility are within my grasp, ever presents ease distress. Always keep in mind that I am the absolute ruler of your life, my precious darling, while you go forward. I have something planned and an ulterior motive for you, and it could be more than you think. If you follow my instructions and agree with me, my ideas could come to fruition in ways you never imagined. So let us embark on our shared adventure with an attitude of thankfulness and praise. Every day is an opportunity to continue receiving my undivided affection, and your way of life is a priceless gift. Until the end of time and beyond, I am by your side. My darling baby, you are everything to me, and I love you so much. What makes this world go round is our constant two-way dialogue of affection, care, and contentment. Embark on this road of trust, knowing that my love and presence will never leave you. Because we are one, we can confidently and joyfully confront any challenge that comes our way. Because I can see the challenges that are ahead of you. Angel says to my beloved child that your destiny is in jeopardy. If you desire God's protection, all you have to do is watch this video. You are about to experience the finest things in life, my darling. Limitless riches, perfect health, and perpetual success. You feel a sense of peace and warmth when the sun's rays delicately touch your face as you open your eyes to a new day. You feel a deep calm inside the whispering serenity, even if the time is precise. Warm and fuzzy promises of benefits you can't yet fathom will make you want more and more, just like this video. The word from God assures you of the miracles that lie ahead if you agree with the strong Jesus. To start, having an excess of money that flows into every part of your life is more important than having a lot of money in the bank. You are in a position to take advantage of chances that will lead to financial success. But the riches of connections that God mentions is more profound and lasting. Being grateful for what you have and working to improve life for yourself and others around you is true riches as is the price of time well spent and the price of moments full of love and joy. A change in your outlook becomes apparent as the days progress into weeks. You start to delight in life's simple pleasures and value the small things more highly. The joy of a well-executed task, the splendor of nature, or the expression of love and appreciation for a loved one all add up to something very invaluable. More good fortune comes your way when you express appreciation and you discover that your money grows in direct proportion to the amount you give. Surprisingly, from out of nowhere, the things God had promised are coming to pass. At that point, optimal fitness may be guaranteed. This encompasses a country of complete physical, mental, and spiritual wellness. It only discusses the lack of pollution. You start to make healthful choices on purpose and your fitness becomes a top priority. You make time for relaxation, a healthy diet, and regular exercise a part of your daily routine. Not only do you feel healthier than ever before, but you also have more energy, vitality, and strength than before. Finding solace in quiet reflection via prayer and meditation helps you to connect with God. This spiritual practice fortifies you from the inside out, bringing serenity and focus that protect you from the storms of life. As your faith deepens, a profound pleasure that is unshakable by anything outside of yourself will accompany it. A life free from disease is just part of God's promise of perfect health. It also includes flourishing in every way that matters. The promise of everlasting prosperity represents a life full of logic and success. More significant than succeeding at what you set out to do, reaching your objectives 
and realizing your aspirations is making a positive impact on the world. Realizing that God's favor is upon you, you find your calling and go after it with all your might. Your paintings begin to have a good effect on others, causing a cascade of commerce that extends beyond your inner group. You know that prosperity isn't just about you. It's about helping other people, giving what you have, and making the world a better place. When you change your behavior to reflect this higher purpose, opportunities present themselves in ways you could never have predicted. To leave a lasting legacy that improves the area for present and future generations is to fulfill God's promise of everlasting prosperity. Making money that lasts is about it. Optimal health. Furthermore, while you consider God's word, you keep in mind that those promises aren't limited to you alone. They apply to everyone who is willing to listen and follow the predetermined path, which isn't without its difficulties. With faith, ambition and love, you may encompass all of them. Realizing that the best benefits are shared, you partake in everything that God has promised. Limitless riches, flawless health, and by no means perpetual prosperity. Taking a religious step is the first step toward material prosperity, which isn't necessarily a pipe dream. By leading people on this journey, you are sowing the seeds of optimism and opportunity by asking them to count their blessings. God's word becomes a lighthouse of hope, proof of the power of faith, and a reminder that on this journey called life, all is possible with God. You have company. In all situations, you may find solace and strength in God's presence, and He will lead you in the good things that He has promised, no matter what season it is. You manage to pull it off while being grateful, accessible, and prepared to provide. With a humble expectation of the goodness that lies ahead, we may embark on a dynamic journey into the future. Sitting peacefully among the hustle and bustle of daily life, you feel a moment of tranquility wash over you. You are able to listen to God's words more intently than before, since time seems to have slowed down, my darling. The voice begins softly, but with a lot of authority. Being your God, it is my duty to bestow upon you the material blessings of plenty, sound health, and the ultimate benefit that God mentions, fulfillment. There is an enormous abundance of all things in life, not just monetary riches, which adds up to kilometers of richness. God wants to provide you with a kind of riches that gives life meaning and pleasure. Feel free to share this video with your five closest relatives. Of course, this encompasses financial security, but it also involves an overflow of love, happiness, and tranquility. When you start to put things in perspective, you realize that having enough to share and enough to enjoy life's benefits without worry is what it means to be wealthy in God's sight. Opportunities to improve your financial situation and grow in your work are becoming more apparent to you as time goes on. Despite investments and unanticipated financial advantages, the true source of the prosperity that God promises is inside your own spirit's kindness. Helping other people and having a positive impact brings you joy. You may be a blessing to others with the money God gives you, and that will cause a chain reaction of compassion and giving throughout the world. Consequently, God grants good health, which includes both physical and mental wellness. When you are physically, mentally, and emotionally healthy, you are able to enjoy life to the fullest, accomplish the goals you set for yourself, and inspire others around you. If you want to grow a brilliant intellect and a peaceful, loving heart, God says to treat your body like a temple and give it the attention it needs. You begin to place a premium on activities that improve your health by including nourishing foods into your diet. If you want to achieve a healthy balance in your life, in addition to working out often and getting enough sleep, you should make time for the things that make you happy. Such sports and quiet reflection, which may help you find inner calm that goes beyond facts and figures. Living free from disease is only one of God's promise of good health. True health is about flourishing in all areas of your existence. While God does speak of success, the fulfillment of your spiritual purpose, rather than worldly success, 
is the standard by which he measures it. God has given you certain abilities, interests and callings that you may use on your path. When you find those things and put them to use serving others and bringing glory to God, you will have succeeded. You come to understand that true happiness is defined by pursuing your passions, having a positive influence on your field and following God's plan for your life. You face difficult circumstances and limits when you follow your interests, but you hold on to God's promise in your heart and keep going because you realize that every obstacle is a chance for growth. Numerous documents provide the groundwork for fulfillment, including deep connections with others, tangible accomplishments, and the satisfaction that comes from leading a life guided by purpose. Knowing that your happiness isn't only for your personal gain, but may also be a gift to others, is a source of great joy. Your divine message is very obvious. Join me on this voyage, my pricey toddler. You are reminded at every turn that the benefits of prosperity, health and success come from above, and not just to enrich your life, but also to change the lives of others around you. Be kind with everyone around you, showing God's compassion and charity at all times. As you go forward, do it with an overflowing heart of thankfulness, eyes wide open to the blessings all around you, and hands prepared to serve. Always remember that God has entrusted you with money, good health and success, and that you are to manage them properly, following God's direction. Regardless of the challenges you face, you always have someone at your side. There is a lot of potential and promise in the next adventure. The benefits of following God aren't something you can look forward to. They're something that are happening right now as you are urged to remain fully, love profoundly, and boldly walk the path God has planned for you. Prosperity, health, and success are not only abstract concepts. They have the potential to materialize and serve as evidence of God's unwavering love and faithfulness. You become more attractive, more encouraging, and more capable of expressing God's unconditional love as you take on God's advantages. Having money, being healthy, and succeeding aren't simply personal goals. They're chances to have a positive impact, help build a better world, and live a life that glorifies God. In the stillness, you heard a voice that has been guiding you ever since reassuring you of God's promises and your own rationale. A new day brings with it the opportunity to take advantage of these benefits, share them with others, and live life to the fullest, as promised by God. With each new day comes not only the promise of a brighter tomorrow, but also the power to live in the here and now, opening the door to fresh opportunities to see God's promises fulfilled in your lives. Every day, you are greeted with a multitude of benefits, the smiles of friends, the coziness of home life, and the fulfillment of meaningful work are all signs of wealth. You can embrace each day with joy when you are physically fit because it shows in your energy how clear your thoughts are and how calm your coronary heart is. Success in following your interests and enjoying your God-given purpose rather than plaudits or accomplishments is now the everyday delight you need to be fulfilled. Living according to God's promises requires trust, acceptance as truth and action according to your investigation, belief in the veracity of God's word, knowing that his timing is perfect and following his lead in everything that one does. It's a path of maturation where you'll become closer to God's plans for your life with each stride. Rejoicing in God's promises makes your life evidence of his grace. You share your story not to boast about your own success, but to show people the power of God. Your life's journey may become a lesson in faith, hope, and love for others around you as you open your heart willingly to receive God's gifts. The true purpose of having enough money, being in good shape, and being successful isn't to show off, but to help other people. And you learn this when you give to those less fortunate. A transaction was sparked by your kindness. Sharing joy and hope with a world that is sorely lacking in both will deepen your relationship with God. In times of peace, you learn to focus on His speech and to look into His hand for clues about your life. If you want to change your perspective on prosperity, health and happiness, listen to this deeper relationship with God. 
They are not goals to be achieved, but rather blessings to be received with thankful hearts and put to good use according to God's will. Living in accordance with God's promises is an adventure because it leads to leaving a legacy of faith, hope and love, which is a wonderful way to make it through this world. What it boils down to is sowing the seeds of faith in other people's hearts, tending to them with love and sharing the story of your journey with them. The light you leave behind will shine brightly for generations to come, leading people in the direction of the truth of God's promises. What this means to them is that a life lived in faith brings purpose, serenity, and happiness. God's promises of abundant life, perfect health, and contentment are not empty rhetoric, but rather the impetus for a life spent in perfect harmony with Him. These promises lead you into a more intimate relationship with God, filled with the delight of being in His presence and the fulfillment of His purpose for your life. Stay encouraged on this path because God's promises are sure and His love is constant. You are becoming a living testimony to God's love for humanity with each stride you take toward a better life. To be really wealthy, physically strong and successful, that is the essence. Existence that is brimming with God's blessings, to the point where they spill out to benefit everyone around. You will not only discover the means to a happy life, but also the key to a life that benefits others when you embrace God's promises. Along the path that leads to the greatest manifestation of life, one must have trust, hope, and love. On this path, one must walk hand in hand with God. In the stillness of your life, among the din of your regular workouts, you perceive a kind and comforting voice. My little kid, it is a pure and deep promise from God. In the end, you will become a billionaire, I assure you. This simple but powerful declaration sets the stage for a journey of faith, change, and boom. Becoming a millionaire isn't just about amassing wealth. It's an adventure that involves development-sensible stewardship, growing in your faith, and personal growth. Remember that the promise isn't just about wealth accumulation, but about the person you become along the way. Reflection and synchronization are the cornerstones of this journey. To begin fulfilling this promise, you take stock of your skills, interests, and abilities, realizing that these are the tools God has given you. Your actions are in sync with your reasoning because you realize that success is achieved by making the most of what you have. You realize that becoming a billionaire requires knowledge and experience, and you're dedicated to educating yourself on topics like financial management, fundraising tactics, and entrepreneurship. You were better able to manage your money because of all the information you gained from reading ebooks, taking classes, and attending seminars. Being a millionaire requires a lot of hard work and determination. You mentioned that wealth is often the result of consistent work over a long period of time. You get up early, stay up late, and go above and beyond. Difficult events and obstacles will inevitably arise on your journey, but you must remember that each stride forward is a step closer to your objective. Disasters, failures, and times of uncertainty are inevitable. Nonetheless, you must see these obstacles not as obstacles, but as stepping stones. You gain knowledge from every setback. Learning to persevere in the face of adversity and strengthening your faith through trial and error helps you understand that life's experiences mold you into the person who can handle the many blessings God has in store for you. How well versed are you in stewardship as your money grows? You are well aware of the responsibility that comes with your millionaire status and how to responsibly use it. You are frugal, precise, and careful with your pricing and investing. The importance of stewardship grows as you focus on the blessings bestowed upon you and your commitment to use them in a manner that brings glory to God. The possibility of making a significant impact increases with more money. You give back to your community, support local charities, and aid those in need. True wealth is defined by what one gives away, not by what one has. You know this. Throughout this ordeal, your selflessness serves as an expression of God's love and a testimonial to your faith. Your faith and trust in God's promise 
will be put to the test, but you will emerge from each trial stronger. Instead of relying on your own talents, you learn to trust in God's timing and supply. You find stability in prayer, and you are led by God's word. Rather than seeking financial success, you discover that a deeper relationship with God might fuel your desire to amass a fortune. One day, you'll wake up to the realization that you're a billionaire, just as God had promised, not just monetarily, but also in the depth of your life's reflections. Because of your journey, you are now a more moral, generous, and religious person. As you look back on your path, you realize that being a billionaire wasn't only about the money. It was about becoming a good steward, someone who could help spread God's kindness to others. You no longer see riches as a goal in and of itself, but rather as a means to an end. Despite reaching this point, you are aware that the journey is far from over. God has other plans for your life than being a billionaire. Your pursuit of your purpose persists. Invest in your faith and then utilize your fortune to make a difference in the world. When faith and deeds are in harmony, your story will serve as an example to others of what is possible. Both the difficult circumstances you overcame and the faith that served as your compass are now known to you. Sharing your story inspires others to trust in God's plans for their lives. You learned the value of riches on a trip that started with the promise of becoming a billionaire. This road evolved into one that calls for unwavering faith in God's provision as well as hard labor and devotion. The significance of giving, charity and stewardship were among the many lessons you picked up along the way. What really mattered was that the person you become as a result of the process, not the money itself, became the ultimate accolade. Becoming a shining example of God's love is more important than material success in God's eyes. Politeness and kindness. You have learned the value of being strong, persevering, and having faith as you stand here at this moment of accomplishment. The path to becoming a billionaire has been about much more than just building riches. You will be a walking testimony to God's faithfulness as a billionaire. Realizing that riches may be an instrument for greatness in the hands of people eager to fulfill God's duties, you utilize your resources to disseminate love and wish. The Missions Fund is supported by you. Every act of kindness is a seed planted in God's domain. Therefore, the community pitches in to help those in need. Looking forward, you think about the legacy you want to leave behind. Your desire to be remembered for more than just the money you've made, but also for the people you've helped, the dreams you've inspired, and the love you've given. Help others along the way by imparting the wisdom you've gained and urging them to trust in God and follow their hearts as they embark on this journey. You now know that the promises of God are typically more important than private gain. The promise of becoming a billionaire shifted its focus from enhancing your reputation to equipping you to be a vessel through whom God blesses the industry. To prove it, your success will serve as a springboard from which you may share testimonies of God's kindness, showing that when we put our faith in Him, everything is possible. As you take stock of your progress, a sense of gratitude washes over you. You now see the times of uncertainty and strife as crucial parts of your religious story, and you do not want to forget them. Along with your material blessings, you're grateful for the spiritual ones that have drawn you nearer to God and transformed you into an instrument of His grace. Real riches, you've come to understand, are not necessarily monetary, but rather spiritual, consisting of trust, desire, and love. These are the priceless possessions that will remain undamaged in the face of any economic downturn or theft. You have discovered the joy of living in the surplus of God's promise, which goes much beyond material wealth. Knowing that the journey doesn't end when you become a billionaire doesn't diminish your need for God's direction as you go forward. There are more obstacles to overcome, more opportunities to gain experience, and more rewards to reap. The foundation of your path, your religion, is still guiding you toward God's plan for your life. People will hear your story and be encouraged to trust in God's plans for their lives. They will realize 
that God is able to perform the same things that He has done for you. Your story is an inspiration because it shows that God will keep His promises and that by trusting in Him, people may find the strength to overcome any difficulty. A tale of faith, personal growth, and purpose unfolds with the prospect of becoming a billionaire serving just as a prologue. You are often reminded of God's love and faithfulness while you avoid the reality of this promise. You have learned that true success is not measured by material possessions, but by your identity in Christ, and that in this knowledge lies the greatest treasure. The golden light of a life lived in fulfillment of God's promise illuminates the path to becoming a benefit to others. From far away, a soft murmur penetrates your beating heart, a message of longing and comfort, a heavenly promise that moves your spirit, my dear child. You might have an abundance of joy, love, prosperity and health in the next 12 hours. This guarantee initiates a cascade of miraculous events that will alter your lives in ways you could never have predicted. The first of the promised advantages appears when the first rays of sunshine usher in the dawn of a new day. You are filled with pure and genuine joy. This is more than a passing feeling. It's an enduring joy that colors all aspects of your existence. The little joys of life bring you joy. As you bask in the sun's warmth on your skin and listen to the bird song that complements the breathtaking scenery all around you, you can't help but feel grateful for the gift of life. You feel an outpouring of love as the day goes on. You feel as if the whole cosmos is working together to demonstrate your immense value and affection. The words and deeds that loved ones use to reach out are a reflection of the strong connections you have. You can't help but feel loved and cared for by the complete strangers you encounter throughout the day. Feeling loved and accepted by others strengthens your belief that you are interconnected with a larger, more caring web. After then, signs of affluence start to show up, seemingly out of nowhere. Nowadays, wealth encompasses more than simply material success. Although unexpected chances to improve your financial situation may arise, it also refers to the richness of life and the profusion of intangible advantages that money cannot purchase. When you have love, happiness, and the means to follow your interests and ambitions, you know that true riches are having everything you need to live a full life. You feel great as you see your health improve with each passing hour. Illnesses that you may have been suffering from begin to lessen. If you've been feeling exhausted, fresh vitality and vigor will replace those feelings. A sense of physical strength, mental clarity, and emotional lightness has washed over you. During the day, you are able to fully profit from all that life has to offer since you are in the finest fitness that the divine has promised. Little miracles kept happening, each one a sign of the heavenly promise being fulfilled. Hopes and goals that, at one point, seemed unattainable, suddenly materialize into the tangible manifestations of your deepest aspirations. In ways you never imagined possible, the stars seem to be aligning to bring you love prosperity, health, and happiness. Your own acceptance and confidence in the divine are strengthened by this encounter. You understand that the promise is now about more than simply the advantages. It is also about showing you the power of faith, the importance of hope, and the strength of love. As your connection with the divine deepens, it becomes more powerful, intimate, and full of great joy, love, prosperity, and peak physical health you are strongly motivated to share these gifts with others. By joining forces with other people, you may help the downtrodden, guide your inner circle, and magnify your acts of generosity toward complete strangers. Spread joy and love to others around you, and you'll create a domino effect that extends well beyond your immediate social circle. You realize that the divine promise was more about redesigning you from the inside out than about changing your circumstances as the 12 hours near their end, and you think back on the adventure you've walked, how to be happy, how deep an emotion can be, how much money is worth, and how important it is to be healthy are all things you have learned. When you think back on the events of the day, you are reminded 
that those blessings aren't intended for you alone. They are supposed to be shared. In 1919, you should make sure your heart is full of gratitude for what you have and for the opportunity to make a positive impact on the world. Realizing that the promise has been fulfilled also means that a new adventure has begun. You have been shown in the last 12 hours what is possible when you open your heart to the divine and believe that your life's path is unfolding and you are now ready to welcome whatever comes your way with an open heart and unwavering faith. In the end, your narrative becomes a call to others to accept the possibility of heavenly promises. Sharing your experience is no longer about bragging. It's about being an inspiration to others who are on a quest for fulfillment in love, riches, health and happiness. Your story inspires others to be receptive to God, to embrace the journey and to think about the power of religion. In the last 12 hours, you have experienced a life-altering delight that has altered your perception of a wonderful lifetime via the heavenly promise of joy, love, riches, and health. What made today so special wasn't only the material things you were able to enjoy, but also the time spent reflecting on what these gifts really are and how they connect to the divine in your lives. Now that you know this, you can rationally approach your lifestyle choices. You feel the presence of the divine in every step you take and every decision you make. You know that true joy originates within. We are all bound together by love. There is more to wealth than meets the eye, and good health is the bedrock of happiness, according to your divine reasoning. This experience has also shown me the value of community and the impact of mutual benefits. Your experience serves as a powerful reminder to others around you that even their own lives are susceptible to divine influence. Your story inspires people to build a relationship with the divine by leading them to seek a deeper connection. When the divine promise is fulfilled, you will be able to reap the benefits of your religious, desire-based and love-based relationships even more. You adopt a fresh perspective on overcoming obstacles by realizing that they are necessary steps on the path that will deepen your faith and equip you for the rewards that lie ahead. With this information in hand, you may confidently confront life's challenges with grace and strength, knowing that you are being guided and protected by the divine. In the last 12 hours, I have been spiritually and personally committed to a continuous boom. Praying, meditating, and studying holy books may help you have a better grasp of your faith and the divine's intention for your life. In addition, you might resolve to develop as an individual, to follow your heart's will in everything that you do, and to put your gifts to use for the benefit of others around you. As the day draws to a close, you eagerly anticipate your fate. If you are in agreement with the Divine's purpose for your life, the promise from on high has shown you that anything is feasible. With an attitude of thankfulness and an awareness of the benefits, you go forward. Because of the divine promise and its acknowledgement in your life, you become a lighthouse of love and light in the world, with a spirit ready to embrace whatever the future brings. Whether it's through words of encouragement, deeds of kindness, or just modeling a life that represents your religion, you are always looking for new ways to spread love and light. You end up becoming a living testimony to how divine love may change lives. What began as a fleeting blessing, the heavenly promise of joy, prosperity, and good health for the next 12 hours became a life-altering lesson. You learned about the profoundness of God's love, the efficacy of religion, and the significance of being in harmony with your life's divine purpose. Your continued instruction in those subjects serves as a constant reminder of the divine's promise and involvement in your daily lives as you go further on your path. Everything is possible when faith, optimism and love are present and you are living proof of that. A soothing voice interrupts your calm reflection as you settle into a seat. You are filled with an indescribable sense of tranquility and expectation by virtue of this gentle and unfaltering promise. It's going to happen. You'll become rich, famous, happy and healthier. This heavenly assurance 
prepares the way for a miraculous journey of change and benefits to materialize in the most miraculous ways imaginable. The adventure begins with off evolvement, whether it's a fresh process offer, a smart investment, or an unexpected bequest. The promise of wealth encompasses not only the accumulation of money, but also the richness of life, which starts to boost your day-to-day -day prospects to elevate your economic standing. True riches, you've come to realize, are not measured by material possessions, but by the quality of life you enjoy. With this newfound knowledge, you're taking baby steps toward financial stability. Because of this, you are able to direct your success, which shows up in many parts of your life, including promotions at work, personal triumphs, and the fulfillment of long-sought dreams. Success in your career is important, but real happiness comes from following your heart and doing what makes you happy. You find satisfaction in meaningful connections, personal growth, and having a positive impact on your community. The more you accomplish, the more you realize that success is a gauge of how happy you are with your efforts and how much of an impact you've had on the world. Having success and riches brings about happiness, not only as a feeling, but as a permanent way of life. Both the little things and the big achievements bring you joy. Contentment with one's life's path, bolstered by the love of one's family and friends, the delight of one's accomplishments, and the little joys of each day, is the source of true happiness. This joy will fill your life with meaning and purpose as it radiates outward, enhancing your relationships and the lives of people around you. In this way, fitness develops. It's not only about avoiding being sick, it's about being healthy in all aspects of life, including physically, mentally, and emotionally. God, I genuinely appreciate you. You should start living a healthy lifestyle, driven no longer by guilt, but by a desire to value the body you have. In this life, as your health improves, so does your capacity to enjoy and appreciate the plenty, contentment, and joy that have been bestowed upon you. A stronger, healthier you can take on adversity with grace and enjoy life's pleasures to the fullest. Your understanding of their interdependence and mutual enhancement grows as those assurances start to come true. You can support your loved ones and follow your dreams when you amass a comfortable fortune. Living an aligned life with your values, objectives, and health allows you to enjoy many of these advantages to their fullest. And the delight of attaining your potential comes naturally from living in this alignment. Fulfillment brings success. People are taking note of your change. The way you gracefully and gratefully handle your newfound advantages will inspire those around you to do the same. A testament to the power of faith and the reality of heavenly assurances, your journey will shine like a light of desire. You no longer share your story to boast about yourself, but to demonstrate the power of faith and the results that can be achieved through action. The responsibility of faith-based stewardship is an accompaniment to these advantages. Keep in mind that money has to be managed properly. Success should be given freely. Joy should be shared without reservation and physical health should be pursued with the utmost dedication. In your new role, you take responsibility for the gifts given to you and use them to enrich your life, the lives of others around you, the connections you have, and the world at large. Your faith is strengthened when you realize this heavenly promise. In both the mundane and the monumental aspects of your life, you see the intervention of the divine. Meditation, thanksgiving, and prayer become regular parts of life, not because they are required, but because they bring you joy and allow you to connect with the divine and be grateful for all the good things in your life. Every obstacle on this path is an opportunity for personal development, so don't let them discourage you. You learn to gracefully ride out life's ups and downs because you understand that everything you do contributes to a greater whole. Your character becomes stronger through the difficult trials you endure, which in turn makes your triumphs all the more satisfying and your failures all the more costly. Thinking back on the promise and its fulfillment makes you realize that being wealthy, famous, 
happy and healthier is just the start. The correct path is to make the most of such blessings in order to achieve your goal, help other people, and respect the divine. Your very being is evidence of the efficacy of faith, the beauty of thankfulness, and the fortitude conferred by assurances from on high. With a spirit of openness and readiness to welcome whatever challenges life throws at you, you go ahead and are led, loved, and blessed. Every step taken with trust, every endeavor faced with courage, and every benefit obtained with thankfulness is an important part of this journey of change, not simply the goal. More opportunities will present themselves to you as you continue on your chosen path. The supernatural promise that began this life-altering journey resurfaces before your eyes with each passing day. You are filled with optimism as you embark on your adventure, knowing that faith may open doors to many chances. You face each day with a sense of direction, excited to see what the day brings, but also satisfied in the knowledge that you are following a path illuminated by the divine as you serve as an example to others. A deep sense of satisfaction washes over you as you read your story. Those who pay attention will find encouragement in a narrative about overcoming discovered advantages. You share not only your triumphs, but also the challenges that molded them, sharing a story of perseverance and optimism. Doing so will illuminate the way for others, leading them on their own journey of faith and satisfaction via prosperity and success. You've done it. You find fulfillment in helping others, and you see every gift as a chance to lend a hand. You have a way with words and deeds that lifts others up, whether it's via mentoring, contributing to charity, or just being there to offer a hand. As you facilitate a virtuous cycle that benefits both your network and the world at large, you become an instrument of God's favor. Amidst the chaos of life, you find ways to cultivate inner calm. When your life is in harmony with your core beliefs and you have faith that you are following the path the divine has planned for you, you will find that you are most attuned to the divine during times of solitude, when you will also get the clarity and certainty you need to go on with confidence. Being grateful becomes second nature to you. You have the wisdom to know that every moment, good and bad, is a component of your heavenly path. Embracing this viewpoint may completely change your mindset, transforming ordinary occurrences into chances to be grateful. Your appreciation for the adventure, the lessons learned, and the rewards is overwhelming, filling your coronary heart to overflowing. But that's not all. In the end, you'll find your true purpose thanks to the promise of being wealthy, successful, fulfilled, and healthy. Achieving this goal goes beyond material success and gets to the heart of being human, which is to enjoy, serve, and contribute to the common good. You learn the hard way that true success is not measured by your possessions, but by the things you've been given. It's not about how far you've come, but rather how far you've gone in discovering who you are and how the world works. More than just a forecast of good fortune, being wealthy, successful, happy and healthy became an invitation to begin a path of growth. Your life has been transformed by this voyage of discovery and growing faith. You are now a conduit for hope, a message of love and a light bearer. Looking back at the path you've taken reveals a web of events stitched together by some higher power. It's a testimony to faith, the beauty of life's journey and the limitless potential for change that resides in each of us in the stillness. In those fleeting moments of reflection, a heavenly whisper of deep meaning hits your heart and alters your course of events. Yes, my beloved ones, I have selected you to benefit from my blessings. This very straightforward pledge heralds the start of a wonderful journey, one replete with humility, development, and appreciation. Heavenly Father, have mercy on me, Grace is the first gift you find out you have special access to. Grace, God's unmarried preference, begins to manifest in your life in an infinite variety of ways. Challenges you thought were impossible to overcome suddenly materialize with startling ease. Opportunities for growth and advancement materialize as if by magic, leading you down roads you never dreamed possible. 
As you go through life's ups and downs, you begin to realize that grace isn't only an abstract idea, but an actual, palpable presence that aids and supports you. Boom. It's a graceful arrival. You find that your personal growth is taking place not just in response to external factors, but also from the inside out, in your own being. A sense of empowerment and self-confidence begins to take the place of long-buried anxieties and uncertainties. The advantages bestowed by the supernatural, you come to understand, are meant to mold you into the person you were meant to be, not only to ameliorate your current situation. The path to personal development isn't always smooth. Difficulties often arise that force you to leave your comfort zone. However, as you overcome these obstacles, you will find that you are more in harmony with your own reasoning and the will of God. Gratitude becomes the driving force behind your every action in life. With a grateful heart, you greet each new day, remembering all the gifts you've received and anticipating those that are yet to come. When you're grateful, you shift your focus to appreciate the good things in life, no matter how little they may seem. Beautiful scenery, friendly faces, and the gentle rays of the sun all bring you happiness. You may cultivate an attitude of thankfulness that attracts even more benefits into your life by practicing gratitude, even when things are tough. Faith is the bedrock upon which your quest rests. You put your trust in the invisible and the power of the divine to lead and protect you because of the divine promise that you were selected to get benefits. This isn't a religion that sits on its hands. Rather, it calls for action and the courage to go on even when the path ahead isn't obvious. You discover how to tune into the heavenly guidance in your heart and follow the subtle cues that push you in the direction of your greatest potential. When you let your faith be your compass, it will guide you with assurance and serenity through the storms of life. Gaining these advantages will make you a better person and more able to help other people. Those around you feel the abundant love, grace, and blessings that are pouring into your life. You freely give of your time, energy, and love, understanding that the right way to pay for a benefit is to share it with others. As a result of this virtuous cycle, goodwill for others extends beyond your personal sphere of influence. As a result of these heavenly advantages, your relationships start to change. Find resolution linkages between misunderstandings and disputes. True love thrives. You come to see that benefits are about more than simply improving people's lives. They are also about bringing people together in unity and acceptance. Reflecting the divine love that underlies all benefits, relationships end up becoming sources of energy and delight. A concrete manifestation of the benefits bestowed by the divine is cloth supply. You find yourself as a result of plenty, and your desires are often fulfilled in unexpected ways. You may use this wealth for more than just your own convenience. It can empower you to perform good deeds, provide a helping hand to those in need, and be a part of beautiful global exchanges. You examine the delight of generosity and find that it becomes your new reality when you give, leading to increased physical, mental, and emotional health. Accompanying the divine's promise are fitness benefits, mental tranquility, and emotional harmony. You hold those things in high regard, and you take extra care of your physical, mental, and spiritual selves. Because of your complete health, you are able to enthusiastically follow your life's divine mission. Discovering the infinite love of the divine and your own limitless potential turns life into a thrilling adventure. There is a chance to learn something new, grow, contribute, and enjoy life every single day. You eagerly await the ways in which the divine will manifest their advantages in your life, and you approach life with a sense of surprise and expectancy. The heavenly promise of benefits ultimately guides you to leave a loving legacy. Divine love has the power to change, heal, and enhance lives, and yours will be no exception. You inspire others to welcome their own blessings and begin their religious journeys with open hearts and presto. What matters most is not how much money you leave behind, but rather how many lives you change, how many doors you open, 
and how much love you offer. You are about to embark on a beautiful journey of change that will impact every aspect of your life as the divine promise of blessings unfolds. Rather than a fleeting moment of awareness, grace, growth, and appreciation are ever present on this journey. As you go along this road, you'll see that being chosen for benefits isn't about having it all, but about being an essential part of a greater divine plan that brings all creatures together in unity and love. It dawns on you that the divine plan is extensive and meticulously crafted with boundless wisdom and affection. Your role in this strategy is unique and crucial. It's an invitation to reach your maximum potential while improving the world around you. This awareness grounds you in the knowledge that you are a part of something greater than yourself and provides you with a sense of purpose and belonging. You begin to approach each day with purpose and awareness, guided by the divine promise. The decisions you are making are congruent. By aligning your behaviors with your highest ideals, you demonstrate your dedication to leading a fortunate life. Your evaluations are elevated to new heights of profundity and enjoyment as a result of this focused attention. Your quest to know and experience the divine more undoubtedly enriches your spiritual life, a lifeline that connects you to the source of all benefits, prayer, meditation and contemplation are transformed from mere activities. A feeling of direction, comfort and steadily increasing serenity may be found in such times of non-secular connection. The benefits you get inspire you to make a positive impact on the world by spreading happiness and desire. You tell your narrative no longer as an account of your own personal triumphs, but as evidence of the active presence of the divine in the universe. Those around you are moved to seek their own spiritual compass and welcome the blessings that await them as a result of your journey. Your existence is built on a foundation of gratitude. You nurture an appreciative coronary heart. Your capacity to accept and comprehend gifts is magnified when you acknowledge and appreciate the advantages that flow into your life on a daily basis. This cultivates a positive cycle of thankfulness and plenty. If you wish to live a blessed life, you should seek out or establish a network of others who share your choice. You support one another, share your stories, and double the effect of your combined blessings when you work together. This group becomes an actualization of the potential for positive energy, mutual support, and shared enjoyment. The heavenly promise that you have been chosen to receive advantages will become both a non-permanent guarantee and a dwelling truth that permeates all aspects of your life. This promise is a testament to the divine's ability to bless those who are receptive to it. Your heart is full of appreciation for the advantages you have received, and you wake up every day with a sense of anticipation for the gifts that will come your way. For those who seek you, you are a source of inspiration, a symbol of the strength of God's love and a promise of better days ahead. There is no end to the path that leads to the divine promise of benefits. It is an integral part of your daily life. A deeper dimension of love, grace and cause is revealed as the promise unfolds layer by layer. As you embark on this path, you become a living symbol of the many benefits bestowed by the divine. You serve as a reminder to everyone around you of the limitless love and style that are waiting to be received. This pledge has the power to transform your lifestyle into a guiding light that leads others on their own path to receiving heavenly blessings. Embedded in the tranquility of a moment lies a deep message, a whisper from on high, carrying the weight of longing and the hope of the invisible. Do not forget that I am capable of doing miracles, my children. A testimony to the limitless chances that faith in the divine might unencumber miracles, this simple but powerful statement sets off a voyage of religion. You are seeing the beginning of the great interventions of the supernatural in the natural course of life. They may be subtle, but the impact is huge, and they aren't always the great displays one may hope for. As your days are filled with marvels, you begin to appreciate them more. Reminders of the Divine's active presence in your life, evidence that miracles are woven into the fabric of regular existence, 
may be found in the unexpected resolution of a challenging circumstance, the well-timed support of a stranger, or the sudden improvement in a loved one's fitness. Faith is more than a concept in the life of the divine. You come to realize that religion is the key to seeing miracles. It is said to be in harmony with the divine's benevolence, timing, and electricity. Through religious practice, one learns to see beyond the here and now and to continue to hope even when the future appears cloudy. The survival of this faith is no longer dependent on outward manifestations of its teachings. Rather, it becomes more robust when tested, grounded in the firm belief that the invisible hand of God is at work. The change that takes place within you is one of the greatest marvels you will ever experience. Instead of worry and doubt, the divine promise that miracles are possible replaces them with a feeling of assurance and tranquility. Your empathetic side, patience, and willingness to give others the benefit of the doubt shine through. It becomes abundantly evident that the most miraculous things often come from the depths of the human heart when this inside change impacts one's relationships, choices, and perspective on life. Sharing your story with others becomes an overwhelming need as you navigate this miraculous route. In sharing your story, you become a guiding light for those going through tough times, showing them that they are not alone and that there is hope even in the most hopeless of situations. You are not to make a public proclamation of your faith, but rather to encourage people to seek for their own, to marvel at the little miracles in their own lives and to have faith in the infinite power and love of the divine. An attitude of gratitude will accompany you at all times. You find new ways to be grateful for both the marvels that have already happened and those that are yet to come. Even when the miracles you want have not yet materialized, cultivating an attitude of thankfulness opens your heart to receiving more blessings, creating a positive feedback loop that enhances your life. Thanksgiving grounds you by bringing to mind the fidelity of the divine and the assurance of fate's hand in your life's events. Your journey is greatly impacted by prayer. It evolves into a method of communicating with the divine via prayer, expressing your concerns, hopes and wishes. You express your thanks for the divine's influence in your lives, your confidence in the divine's timing and your faith in the divine's ability to do miracles. In times of uncertainty, prayer may also help you find direction and strength by harmonizing your desires with those of the divine. When you become more attentive to the miraculous aspects of your own lives, you will also begin to see them in the lives of others close to you. You become acutely aware of the ways in which the divine works in the lives of others around you, whether they be friends, relatives, or complete strangers. In sharing these accounts of miracles at times of connection, you strengthen your faith and the faith of others who listen, creating a community of believers who will support and encourage each other. Even miraculous journeys aren't always smooth sailing. When you ask for a miracle, it may not come at the moment you wanted to, or it may take a form that is different from what you expected. The real litmus test for faith occurs at these times. Patience, unwavering agreement, and holding steadfastly to one's desire, even when evidence seems few, are skills you acquire. You may transform your waiting into a worship service by expressing your unfaltering faith in the kindness and power of the Almighty. You keep coming back to look at your whole life as a tapestry of wonders. There was a time when the botanical world and the supernatural mingled, and each thread represents that period. Viewed from this angle, your method comes to life. A sense of awe permeates your daily life, and you are always prepared to see the miraculous in the ordinary. You also feel an immense sense of pleasure from knowing that you are a part of a tale that is much bigger than yourself. As you build your life around the divine promise that miracles may happen, it becomes your motivation. God says, my precious infant, like a proud parent with a beaming smile. Congratulations! Like a bolt of lightning, within 24 hours, you are going to strike gold with a lottery prize as big as a whale. A large sum of money could swoop into your bank account like a hawk, 
ready to trade places with your very existence. Watch this video till the end, like a detective solving a mystery. Like a precious gem, my dear infant, I shall mend your well-being, connections and wealth with the power of a mighty force. This warranty, as effective as a well-oiled machine and as gentle as a whisper, ignites an adventure as vibrant as a blooming flower, as powerful as a rushing river, and as refreshing as a cool breeze. Your adventure begins like a flower blooming in the morning sun, with the healing of your health like a gentle rain shower on a parched land. It begins to evolve like a snail, with changes as tiny as grains of sand accumulating each day. You discover yourself making more healthy selections, motivated like a hidden river, flowing with an internal strength you did not realize you possessed. Like a tree swaying in the wind, your frame responds to these changes. Like a river flowing freely after being dammed for so long, as illnesses that once seemed continual start to decrease and your strength ranges upward, you realize that the Divine's promise of fitness isn't always just about the absence of illness, but about achieving a country of complete physical, intellectual, and emotional well-being. Each step in the direction of health feels guided, like invisible hands are assisting you and encouraging you to nurture your frame, the temple of your spirit. Like wildfire, miracles spread through your relationships like a blooming garden. Misunderstandings that induced rifts begin to heal nearly as if by some magical force. Conversations that you feared would be hard unfold as smoothly as a river, leading to reconciliation and forgiveness. You're drawing close to your relationships like a gardener tending to a blooming garden with a brand new attitude rooted in love, persistence, and know-how. The promise of restored relationships blooms like a flower in spring, turning into a reality as you experience deeper connections with your family, rekindled friendships, and a sense of community that shines like a beacon in your existence. These modifications are like a warm embrace on a cold day, filling you with a profound experience of joy and belonging, like a lighthouse guiding ships home, reminding you that you are never alone. Like a blooming flower and a strong oak tree, your fitness and relationships grow, revealing the Divine's promise and expanding in your budget like a river overflowing its banks. Opportunities bloom like flowers in a hidden garden. Jobs are like a soothing balm for debt, offering solutions as surprising as finding money in a forgotten coat pocket. You approach your financial situation like a gardener tending to a blooming garden with a heart full of stewardship and gratitude, like a treasure hunter unearthing precious gems. By handling your sources wisely, you discover that, like a skilled gardener tending to their plants, not only are your instantaneous desires met, but you are also capable of showing greater generosity to others, like a river overflowing with abundance. On the path to fulfill the Divine's promise of abundance and provision, the recovery of your finances is like a steady river flowing, not flashy like fireworks, but stable like a mountain, free like a bird, and generous like a warm embrace. This adventure of restoration is like a mighty river that strengthens your faith, flowing with the power of a roaring lion. Like a blooming flower reaching for the sun, each step forward, each improvement, and every resolved issue shine like a beacon of the Divine's faithfulness. You understand that the promise is like a seed that grows not just to convert your situation, but to deepen your belief in the Almighty, like roots reaching deeper into the soil. Prayer and reflection are like daily companions, now not out of duty, but from a desire to connect more deeply to the divine source of your healing, like a river flowing towards the ocean. In moments of prayer, you discover guidance, like a compass pointing north, peace as calming as a gentle breeze, and the energy to continue forward, like a river flowing steadily. Gratitude is like a faithful companion, always by your side. You find yourself beaten with thankfulness like a drum for the visible and invisible benefits of your existence, like a symphony playing in your heart. An attitude of gratitude is like a magnifying glass, allowing you to peer into the Divine's hand at paintings as closely as a detective examining clues at a crime scene. It's like a magnet pulling in extra benefits, 
creating a cycle of positivity and abundance, like a flourishing garden. You share your story of healing with others, shining like a lighthouse of hope instead of boasting. Like a beacon in the dark, your testimony shines brightly, inspiring those who are struggling to embrace the chance for their own renewal, like a flower blooming in the spring. Like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly, you undergo a profound transformation as you embody the divine's promise of healing. You are like a transformed character in a story, no longer the same as before, now stronger, tougher, and more in tune with your true purpose. You approach existence like a book with pages as clear as a crystal lake, shining with consciousness like a beacon in the night, dedicated to living in a way that cherishes the divine's blessings for your well-being, connections, and finances. This change spreads like wildfire, reaching beyond your personal growth, touching the lives of those around you, and inspiring them to embark on their own journeys of healing and rejuvenation, like flowers blooming after a spring rain. The promise of restoration is like a guiding light in a dark tunnel, illuminating your path like a lighthouse in a storm. Your adventure is not just for your benefit, but also shines like a beacon, a testimony to the divine's electricity and love, like a symphony playing in harmony. You emerge like a hawk, keenly aware of the desires of others, searching for ways to serve and support individuals like a sturdy oak tree, providing shade to those in need. Your existence will shine like a polished mirror, reflecting the divine's promise, a living example of healing that blooms like a flower and lifts others like a gentle breeze. You recognize that healing is like a river flowing continuously, not a single drop in time. Demanding situations may pop up like unexpected storms, but armed with faith, gratitude, and the divine's promise, you tackle them like a warrior ready for battle. You understand that each obstacle is like a seed of potential growth, a chance to observe the Almighty's hand at work on your lifestyles. This know-how is like a comforting blanket, wrapping you in a sense of peace, like a reassuring hand on your shoulder, letting you know you are not alone, and that the divine's promise of recovery is like a steady river, always flowing. Like a shining beacon of desire, the divine promise that I, the Almighty, will restore your health, relationships, and price range will glow brightly in your life. It's an adventure that stretches as far as the eye can see, like a never-ending horizon, brimming with transformation, healing, and renewal, like a garden blooming in spring. This promise is like a beacon of light in the darkness, not only restoring what was lost, but also birthing something fresh and grand, like a majestic sunrise. As you walk this path of restoration, you unearth a sense of self as deep as the ocean, a connection to the divine as powerful as a roaring waterfall, and a capacity to love and serve others as vast as the sky. Like a fog lifting, with every step towards recuperation, your imaginative and prescient outlook on destiny becomes clearer. And you also start to dream once more, no longer with a sense of yearning for what has changed, but with excitement for what's yet to return. These goals are like shooting stars, not just for personal satisfaction, but akin to lighthouses guiding ships, illuminating the well-being of those around you and creating a ripple effect as powerful as a tsunami in the arena. Like a beacon in the night, the divine promise of recovery shines brightly, filling you with a destiny as full of hope, motivation and achievement as a blooming garden in spring. The effect of your healing spreads out like ripples in a pond, reaching beyond the borders of your lifestyle like a vine stretching far and wide. As you share your tale of recuperation, reconciliation, and financial renewal, you sprinkle seeds of hope like a gardener planting flowers, inspiring others to believe in the potential for change in their own lives like a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly. Your journey will be like a spark in a dry forest, igniting connections between communities like a web of intertwined branches, guiding, embracing, and cherishing the ripple effect of your restoration like a precious gem. Fosters a feel of harmony like a symphony orchestra and collective healing like a soothing balm, proving that the divine's promises aren't just for individuals, but for whole communities like a quilt woven together. 
the adventure of recovery is like a sturdy oak tree, teaching you resilience as strong as its roots. You discover ways to navigate life's ups and downs like a skilled sailor on a turbulent sea, understanding that each venture is transient, like a passing cloud, and that divine aid is steady, like a lighthouse guiding your way. This resilience is like a shining beacon of hope, radiating not just for you, but for those who observe your journey like a lighthouse in a stormy sea. Your existence is like a beacon of hope, shining brightly to show that with faith, staying power, and divine guidance, you can conquer obstacles like a mighty warrior and emerge stronger than before. Living with the promise of restoration will be like a compass guiding every step, a beacon of hope shining through the darkest night. You undertake practices that promote bodily fitness, like a marathon runner, nurture meaningful relationships, like a gardener tending to delicate flowers, and fulfill certain financial obligations, like a diligent accountant. These practices are as light as a feather, like dancing on a cloud, rooted in the divine promise, and bring you joy like a child with a new toy. You emerge as aware as a tightrope walker, balancing in all regions of your lifestyle like a skilled acrobat, knowing that ongoing healing calls for attention and care as delicate as a fragile flower. Like a river flowing into the ocean, your healing adventure will merge seamlessly with your legacy. It's like a winding river of a tale that you hand down to future generations, a testament to the divine's faithfulness and the strength of unwavering faith. This legacy is like a tapestry woven with blessings, strength shining like a beacon in moments of weakness, peace as serene as a calm sea in times of turmoil, and affection like a warm embrace that carries you through every trial. Your legacy is like a shining beacon, guiding others to seek the divine, like a sturdy bridge, helping them trust in the promises made to them, and like a compass, leading them on their very own trips of recuperation. Like a sculptor shaping clay, the divine promise of restoration will mold your understanding of fitness, relationships, and budget, like a canvas waiting for a masterpiece. It teaches you that recovery is like a winding road through uncharted territory. It's like a journey towards something greater, an existence marked by divine grace, profound healing, and endless possibilities. This promise is like a sturdy oak tree, standing tall and strong, guiding you like a lighthouse in a storm, comforting you like a warm blanket on a cold night, and empowering you like a roaring fire in the darkness of the night. Like a gentle breeze on a still lake, in the tranquil moments of reflection, a deep pledge finds its way to your heart, carrying with it a feeling of calm and optimism, my dear child. I will dance through your existence like a leaf caught in a whirlwind, swirling and changing, even when it seems as unlikely as a snowstorm in the summer. This assurance from the divine is like a spark, igniting a journey of transformation and religion, unveiling the boundless opportunities that shimmer within the realm of the divine. Change, like a mysterious fog rolling in, begins to reveal a new perspective. You understand that the Divine's intervention in your lifestyles is like a powerful force, capable of transforming even the toughest conditions and impossibilities you face, be it in your health relationships. Professions or non-public increases are like open doors, inviting the Divine to showcase its electricity and love like a radiant sun. You start to embrace the opportunity of miracles and the expertise that what's not possible with human beings is viable with the Divine like a flower blooming in the desert. If you align with the Lord, miracles are like blooming flowers in a vast garden, not just stories of old or tales from distant lands. They are like a treasure chest of truth waiting to be discovered in your life. Like a compass needle, this information causes your perspective to change direction. Worry and doubt fade away like shadows at dawn, making way for hope and anticipation to bloom like flowers in spring for the Divine's intervention in your life. This promise of exchange is like a sturdy bridge that strengthens your faith, standing tall and unwavering. Religion in this context is like a towering mountain, greater than belief. It is embraced as true within the Divine's timing 
goodness and expertise shining like a polished gem. You discover ways to lean like a fragile reed in the wind, no longer on your very own knowledge, but to trust inside the Divine's plan for your life. This agreement is like a spark in the dark, urging you to move forward with faith even when the path ahead is as unclear as a foggy morning. Like a brave explorer setting sail on uncharted waters, you face your fears head on. Worry of the unknown, fear of failure, and fear of unhappiness loom as large as looming shadows. Yet the Divine's promise shines like a beacon of courage, encouraging you to face those fears with a strength as fresh as morning dew. You discover that bravery is like a beacon shining through the darkness, not the absence of worry, but the choice to carry on like a ship sailing through a storm. Prayer is like a lifeline, a bridge to convey your hopes, fears and desires to the Divine. Through prayer, you invite the Divine into your situation like a welcoming host, asking for guidance, electricity and intervention like a desperate plea. Prayer transforms into a comforting oasis, like a gentle stream flowing through a parched desert, reminding you that you are not alone in your battles. Like a river flowing after a long drought, you begin to witness transformation in your existence. Conditions that were once stagnant start to flow, problems that seemed insurmountable start to flow, and decisions reveal themselves like hidden treasures. This transformation may not always seem like what you imagined. However, it's unmistakably as unique as the paintings of the divine. You recognize these modifications as shining like the sun, proof of the divine's energetic presence and power over your existence, as strong as a lion. Persistence is like a sturdy anchor in the stormy seas of this adventure. You research that the divine's timing is like a perfectly tuned orchestra, playing its own melody even when it doesn't harmonize with your personal waiting. Your acceptance, like a seed taking root in fertile soil, of the Divine's promise to alternate matters in your lifestyles in those times of readiness, is akin to finding hidden treasures, allowing possibilities for increasing and deepening your faith to bloom like a vibrant garden. As you experience alternates, your relationships are impacted, and reconciliation and restoration begin to take place in broken relationships. You approach your interactions with others like a blooming flower, with the staying power of a sturdy oak tree and understanding as deep as an ocean, all inspired by your own journey of transformation. The trade in your life is like a shining beacon, a testimony that sparkles like a diamond, spreading desire and encouragement like a warm embrace. Like a flower blooming under the sun's gentle touch, you find yourself grateful not just for the changes you can observe, but also for the ones still unfurling like a secret waiting to be revealed. This gratitude is like fuel for your faith, creating a cycle as nice as a blooming flower, transforming trust like a caterpillar into a butterfly and thanksgiving like a warm embrace. Your journey of trade transforms into a story as vivid as a painting, not merely a recount of your personal triumphs, but a reflection of the Divine's ability to change lives like a sculptor shaping clay. You share your story like a lighthouse guiding ships in the dark, encouraging others to consider the possibility of trade in their very own lives, providing them with a glimpse of a wish like a shooting star and the courage to believe in the Divine like a whisper from the heavens. Like a ship navigating the vast ocean as you witness trade in your lifestyles, you are looking to stay in closer alignment with the Divine's will. This alignment is like a puzzle piece fitting perfectly into place, bringing a sense of purpose and accomplishment. As you see yourself as a piece of a grand design, your goals and plans intertwine like vines with the Divine's purposes, creating a tapestry of existence that is as rich as a treasure trove and as impactful as a roaring waterfall. The adventure is like a never-ending marathon, not just a single sprint or magical moment. It's a winding road of development, obstacles and triumphs. You remain open to the Divine's work in your lifestyle, like a flower ready to bloom, geared up to embody change, face new challenges, and have fun like a child in a candy store. 
like a guiding light in the darkness, the promise that the divine can change things, even when it seems impossible, shines brightly, urging you to move forward with faith and hope, like a sailor navigating stormy seas. Like a beacon of hope, shining through the darkest night, the divine's promise to alter things in your existence is as profound as a roaring waterfall. It assures you that no aspect of your existence is as unreachable as a distant star. This journey of change is like a blooming flower, not just about shifting situations, but about delving into the depths of your heart. Like a beacon of light in a dark tunnel, with the wisdom of its essence and recognizing its presence everywhere in your daily routines. As you maneuver through life's obstacles, your mindset transforms from one of despair to one of hope. Challenges are like hidden treasures waiting to be discovered, like blank canvases ready to be painted with the colors of the divine's energy and style. This transformation in perspective is like a gust of wind beneath your wings, propelling you forward with the self-belief to face life head-on, as if you are carrying more pressure than any assignment you can encounter. The fee of network is like a bright light, shining more and more obvious as you wrap yourself in a community of faith that strengthens your remedy and enriches your religious walk, like a river flowing with sharing reviews of divine intervention. Sparkles with a collective sense of awe and gratitude, like a shimmering gem in the sunlight, reinforcing the notion that not anything is impossible for the divine. Living in accordance with the promise of divine trade is like tending a garden of belief and expectation, blooming with a lifestyle rich in faith. You wake each day like a flower, unfurling its petals at dawn, eager to see how the divine will dance in and through your life like a graceful ballerina. This expectation is like a ship that no longer causes disappointment. For even in moments when exchange isn't immediately seen, your faith is strengthened like a tree rooted deep in the ground, knowing that the divine is at work backstage like a skilled magician. The adventure is like a guide, urging you to see with eyes as open as a blooming flower and to grasp the hand of the divine hidden within the tiny moments of daily life. This spiritual sight is like a magnifying glass, revealing benefits hidden like treasures in disguise desire shimmering like a gem within the darkness of despair, and the divine's guidance shining like a beacon in the fog of your decisions. Like a beacon in the night, the divine's promise to trade matters in your lifestyles shines brightly, inviting you to embrace the fullness of life like a blooming flower. It is a call to live like a shooting star, love as vast as the ocean, and walk as boldly as a lion in faith, knowing that the divine is guiding and watching over you. The journey is like a winding river, twisting and turning, revealing the hidden treasures of divine love, shining like a beacon at the mountain summit. At some point in this adventure, your coronary heart is drawn to worship like a moth to a flame, not simply in moments of joy, but also in times of waiting and uncertainty, like a ship lost at sea. Worship is like a river flowing through life, a response to the divine's love and faithfulness as vast as the ocean. Worship is like a treasure chest where you unearth power, comfort, and the reassurance that the divine is as close as a shadow, as active as a buzzing bee, and as trustworthy as the rising sun. Like a gust of wind that can move a mountain, my ability to change things in your life, even when it seems impossible, is not just a statement of intent. It's a proclamation of the divine's constant involvement in your life. This adventure of transformation is like a river flowing from the divine's promise, reshaping your knowledge of possibility as a sculptor molds clay, teaching you the genuine meaning of faith as a lighthouse guides ships and leading you to experience the profound intensity of divine love and power like a blazing sun in the sky. As you stroll this path, each step is like a whisper of the divine's power, urging you to delve deeper Stand taller and embrace the endless opportunities that faith reveals as the calendar flips to 2024. Like a gentle breeze carrying a sacred vow, a touch of hope and rejuvenation dances into your soul, my precious little one. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, the 12 months of 2024 will be your grand return. This promise, heavy with the burden of divine assurance, 
sets in motion a journey like a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly, full of resilience and growth like a blooming flower. The year starts like a tightly wound spring, filled with anticipation and readiness for change, like a caterpillar ready to emerge from its cocoon. You take into account that a comeback is like a bird soaring forward to its destined perch, not retracing its flight path to the old nest. This consciousness is like a key unlocking the door to liberation, setting you free as a bird from the chains of past failures, disappointments, and setbacks. You embrace it alternately like a warm hug, welcoming it with open palms and recognizing it as the spark for your comeback, like a match to a flame. Change is like a gust of wind that sweeps through various aspects of your life, like a river carving new paths through personal growth and relationships in your career, and like a beam of light illuminating your religious journey. Like a bird soaring through the sky, every exchange, large or small, is a step in the direction of the success of the divine promise. As you navigate the demanding challenges and opportunities that 2024 brings, you cultivate resilience like a sturdy oak tree in a storm. You learn that resilience is like a flower blooming through cracks in the pavement, not just surviving hardships, but flourishing like a tree in a storm, like a sturdy tree growing stronger with each storm it weathers. With each impediment you triumph over, your faith deepens, your strength grows, and your ability to hope expands. The 12 months of 2024 bloom like a garden of rediscovery. You rediscover your passions, abilities, and goals like a treasure chest unearthed after years of being buried beneath the sand of life's needs. This rediscovery is like a flame being reignited in the depths of your soul urging you to chase after your dreams with the strength and purpose of a lion on the hunt. Restoration will shine like a beacon in the night during your comeback, like a lighthouse guiding ships to safety. You'll find recuperation for the wounds of the past now, like a brave warrior facing them head-on with the elegance of a dancer. Forgiveness, like a gentle breeze on a hot day, clears the path for this recovery releasing you from the heavy burden of bitterness and unlocking your heart to the endless opportunities of the present in this year of comeback. You prioritize building connections like a spider weaving its intricate web. Relationships that were strained or ignored are like wilted flowers blooming again after a refreshing rain, while you also forge new connections that sparkle like diamonds, enriching your life with fresh ideas, support, and happiness. Those connections are like a safety net, reminding us that no comeback is a solo journey. Instead, it blossoms from the support and guidance of others who understand our values and dreams like a mirror reflecting our true selves. You pursue your purpose like a lion stalking its prey, with intentionality as sharp as an arrow hitting its target. This pursuit is like a calm river flowing not a wild storm raging, but a purposeful journey adorned with reflections, decisions, and progress. You find joy like a bird soaring in aligning your day-to-day -day activities with your larger cause, making every day a meaningful step in the direction of your the comeback boom permeates every aspect of your comeback. You develop knowledge, expertise, and skills like a blooming flower in the springtime. Challenges that once seemed as intimidating as towering mountains now dance before me like opportunities for growth and exploration. This increase is like a blooming flower, not only for your gain. It will become a source of concept and encouragement to those around you, like a lighthouse guiding ships in the dark, like a flower blooming in a barren field in the midst of striving for your comeback. You find joy as easily as a child finding a hidden treasure. Life's simple joys are like a warm embrace. Nature's beauty is as soothing as a gentle breeze. Laughter is as sweet as honey. Artwork is like a window to the soul, and friendship is as comforting as a cozy blanket. This pleasure and ease function like a gentle breeze on a sunny day, reminding us that a real comeback is not just about accomplishing dreams, but approximately playing the adventure 
like a skilled musician playing a beautiful melody. Like a tree growing stronger with each passing season, your religion will fortify itself until 2024 becomes a rock-solid cornerstone of hope and renewal, like a lighthouse guiding ships through a stormy sea. You learn how to trust in the divine timing, like a leaf carried by the wind. Seek divine steerage on your selections, like a ship guided by the stars, and locate peace in the divine presence, like a calm lake reflecting the moonlight. This religion is like a sturdy anchor in the stormy sea of life, preserving you grounded like an anchor amid the waves of trade. Like a blooming flower, as you watch the unfolding of your comeback, you feel driven to share your story. Your journey, like a roller coaster ride through life's twists and turns, will blossom into a testament to the power of hope, perseverance, and heavenly guidance. Sharing your story will be like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day, lifting others up, spreading hope like wildfire, and inspiring individuals who are still searching for their own light at the end of the tunnel. Like a blooming flower in spring, you embrace the future with optimism and confidence, growing stronger with each passing month. You're conscious, like a vigilant owl, that the comeback in 2024 is not the end of your journey, but rather the start of a brand new one, like a seed sprouting into a flourishing tree. You look forward to the future, like a child eagerly awaiting Christmas morning, excited for the ongoing unfolding of the divine promise in your life, like a flower blooming in the spring. Gratitude fills your heart like a warm embrace as you reflect on the next 12 months. You are as grateful as a blooming flower for the challenges that have shaped you, as enriched as a treasure chest for the advantages that have enriched you, and as guided as a ship by the divine presence that has guided you. This gratitude is like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day, brightening your days with a sense of wonder and appreciation like a colorful painting. You may make a comeback in 2024 like a phoenix rising from the ashes because the divine has promised. It's been 12 months like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly, strong like a tree in a storm, growing like a seed in fertile soil and clear like a sky after a storm. You emerge from this year like a mighty oak tree after a storm, stronger, wiser, and more aligned with your genuine self and divine calling, shining like a star in the night sky. The journey of your comeback is like a soaring eagle, reminding us that no matter how deep the valley you start from, the heights you can reach are as boundless as the sky, supported by a divine promise and guided by faith like a lighthouse in a storm. This year has shown you that comebacks are like not just returning to a previous nation, but more like moving ahead to an even higher, more pleasurable location in your existence. Your comeback blossoms like a garden of wishes for others. Through your journey, you unveil that setbacks and challenges are like unexpected twists in a novel. Not the final chapter, but a diverging path towards a different future. This legacy of desire is like a spark that ignites a fire, inspiring others to believe in their own potential for change and to embrace the promise of the divine as if it were a guiding light. The comeback year is like a seed sprouting in the fertile soil of an uncharted garden. Every new day is like a treasure chest full of opportunities, waiting to be explored like a vast ocean where you can dive deeper into understanding yourself, strengthen your connections like the roots of a tree, and unveil your purpose like a hidden gem. 1919. To assert it, you have to stay open to new reviews, like a flower turning towards the sun, knowing that increases and alternates are ongoing procedures, like a river constantly changing its course. Like a ship sailing through stormy seas, Ward, the importance of anchoring yourself in your beliefs and spirituality becomes as evident as the North Star. The achievements and progress of the comeback year are like shining stars in the night sky, not just private triumphs. They are reflections of the divine working in and through you, like a river flowing effortlessly downstream. Like a sturdy oak tree, firmly rooted in the ground, you can ensure that your accomplishments carry significance and that your path remains as purposeful 
as a compass needle pointing north. Like a ship sailing with the wind at its back, you confront destiny's challenges with self-belief as strong as a lion's roar. You've discovered that barriers are like catalysts for a boom, and that with divine assistance, you may navigate any issue, like a skilled sailor on a stormy sea. This self-assurance is like a sturdy oak tree, rooted not just in your own strength, but also in the unwavering presence and guidance of the divine, like a lighthouse in a stormy sea. The transformation you've undergone is a fire that fuels your desire to keep sharing your story and serving others, like a beacon lighting the way. You understand that your comeback can be like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day, offering gentle warmth to those in shadowy corners. Your adventure transforms into a tool as powerful as a roaring lion, enabling you to contribute to the recovery and boom of your network like a blooming garden. Your spiritual connections blossom like a garden in full bloom. Like a river flowing past the comeback year, those connections, whether through prayer, meditation, or community worship, nourish your soul and hold you aligned with the divine's will. Like shining stars in the night sky, they can be sources of power, guidance, and luxury as you journey through the ongoing adventure of life. Reflection is like a daily dance, swirling around me constantly. Allowing you to ponder the instructions found during your comeback is like opening a treasure chest. These reflections are like a mirror showing you the growth you've made. Understanding the challenges you've got to overcome is like navigating a stormy sea. And recognizing the divine's hand in your journey is like feeling a warm embrace. They also prepare you for destiny's increase, like a skilled navigator guiding a ship through stormy seas, ensuring that you continue to move ahead with expertise and insight, shining like a beacon in the dark. Looking ahead, you do so like a sailor scanning the horizon with the wish that the divine promise that marked the beginning of your comeback year remains a source of electricity and guarantee, like a lighthouse guiding a ship through the stormy seas. You approach the future like a curious child in a candy store, eager to see how the divine will weave and paint your life like an artist with a blank canvas. In the end, your comeback after 12 months is like a beacon guiding you to live a life of purpose, shining brightly like a lighthouse in the dark. This motive is like a compass pointing north, not just about personal success, but akin to a flower blooming in alignment with the divine's plan for your life. It's like harnessing the power of your gifts, skills, and life lessons to create a positive impact on the world, akin to a beam of light piercing through darkness. Your life transforms like a butterfly emerging from a cocoon, a testament to the resilience of the divine plan and the splendor of a path walked in harmony with a greater purpose. Like a shooting star streaking across the night sky, the divine promise of your comeback in the 12 months of 2024 shines brightly, transforming from a mere wish into a tangible reality that molds your lifestyle like clay in the hands of a skilled sculptor. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, through this adventure, you've uncovered the true meaning of a comeback. It's no longer just about overcoming challenges, but about embracing the possibilities for transformation. Challenges found in your comeback are like seeds planted in fertile soil, setting the stage for a life of growth like a blooming flower, guided by divine steering like a ship sailing smoothly, and reminding you and those around you that with religion, all matters are possible, like a mountain moved by faith. This profound experience is like a compass guiding a ship, shaping not only your internal and international lives, but also how you engage with the outside world. You flow through existence like a gentle river, carrying a deeper experience of compassion and empathy, recognizing the divine presence in others as effortlessly as a bird soaring through the sky. This recognition dances through acts of kindness and understanding like a gentle breeze, creating ripples of tremendous trade on your network like a stone dropped in a pond. Like a steady companion, the Divine's presence propels you into a life of service, shining as brightly as a guiding star. Serving others is like a way of honoring the Divine's presence in your lifestyle. 
akin to a beautiful melody that resonates inside the lives of those around you. This carrier is like a chameleon, changing its form as often as the wind changes direction, volunteering, offering a listening ear, presenting encouragement, or truly being there for a person in need. Each act of service is a manifestation of the divine love that embraces you. With the divine on your side, you learn to regard hard circumstances no longer as insurmountable hurdles, but as chances for increasing and deeper dependence on the divine. Every difficulty becomes a risk to observe the transformational force of the divine's presence, strengthening your acceptance as truth with and in religion. This adjustment in perspective converts potential hurdles into stepping stones in your non-secular quest. The promise of divine friendship stimulates the formation of non-secular behaviors that keep you attuned to the divine's presence. Prayer, meditation, reading spiritual books, or spending time in nature, those activities grow to be precious times of connection, allowing you to listen, study, and progress in your knowledge of the divine's will for your life. The idea that the divine is constantly with you offers balance and harmony to your life. You discover a medium of gravity in the divine's presence, which helps you to traverse the highs and lows of life with equanimity. This stability extends to your relationships, your career, and your non-public life, establishing a holistic feeling of well-being. Your life develops into an example of how to be in continual knowledge of the Divine's presence. Your tranquility, fortitude, joy, and compassion serve as an example to others who can witness the tangible effects of Divine Fellowship in you. Your example motivates others to look for a deeper relationship with the Divine, promoting hope and religion. Residing in continuous acknowledgement of the Divine's presence is an experience that by no means ends. It's surely one of continuing to get to know, expanding, and developing love. Each day brings fresh options to appreciate the Divine's company, to examine it, and to let it modify you from the inside out. Ultimately, the Divine's promise to continuously be with you goes beyond the limitations of this life. It's considerably more than a promise of eternal friendship, telling you that the connection you domesticate with the Divine here and now will last until eternity. This infinite attitude fills your life with great importance, making sure that every second is lived in light of the unbreakable tie between you and the Divine's promise. My little baby, as the creator of the entire lot surrounding you, I am constantly with you. That is a core fact that alters everything. It modifies your know-how of yourself, your relationship with the arena, and your connection with the divine. This promise is a source of numerous conveniences, advice, power, and ideas, helping you through your lifestyle's journey. As you live each day in the presence of the divine, your lives will become a testimony to the energy of divine company, a beacon of desire and love in a world that sorely wants it. Within the calm times of your lifestyle, a message of heavenly assurance bursts through the commotion, bringing with it a feeling of serenity and readability. My lovely baby, I can guide, soothe, and protect you. This pledge from the divine isn't always merely words. It's a commitment that covers the width of your life's journey impacting every component of your lifestyle with elegance and care. With steerage, you notice that the tracks you choose out, as soon as laden with doubt, now spread with a sensation of functional alternatives that are regarded as overpowering, changing into clearer, as if lit by utilizing a light that surpasses your very own know-how. This advice is more of a light push than a shove, assisting you through life's complexity with increased self-belief. It is during periods of quiet that you are experiencing this guidance. Maximum intensity, a quiet whisper in your heart guiding your feet. Comfort comes in various forms in times of sadness. A feeling of serenity wraps you, alleviating the weight of your sadness as worry threatens to destroy you. A tranquil presence reassures you, removing anxieties and giving you a pleasant feeling of self-assurance. This consolation transcends human knowledge offering peace in the face of tragedy. It's a reminder that you are in no way alone and that the Divine is with you in every second, 
offering a tranquility that the sector cannot provide. Understanding that a force much larger than any peril you may meet is covering you is a constant but frequently unnoticed approach to managing life's challenging challenges with a feeling of security. This safety does not imply you. You may not come across troubles. Nonetheless, it promises you that you may no longer fight them by yourself. A cautious father or mother who continually pays attention to you keeps threats, both apparent and unseen at bay. Trusting in this divine promise demands trust. It is a voyage to learn how to yield, manage, and give up your goals and expectations in favor of a better plan. This faith isn't always passive. It's a dynamic interaction with the divine, a discourse that encompasses your inner concerns, aspirations, and wishes. Trusting approach, giving go of the quest for truth, and embracing the voyage of faith, recognizing that the only one who promises to lead, comfort, and protect you is committed. Listening becomes crucial in a world crowded with noise and distraction. Studying to track down the divine's voice is crucial. It had come via the beauty of nature, the sentences of a friend, or the quiet periods of meditation and prayer. The ability to pay attention properly is a talent that requires time and perseverance to cultivate. It further opens the door to a deeper romance with the spiritual and the promise of spiritual direction. Consolation and protection provide a strong feeling of presence in your life. You become intensely conscious of the divine's nearness, a constant companion in your quest. This presence is a source of force and bravery, helping you to tackle life's tough challenges with a solid heart. It's in this connection that you find the actual depth of the promise, a courtship that maintains and improves your existence. Your trip becomes an affidavit. The evaluations of advice, comfort and protection become memories you share, offering desire and encouragement to others. Your life transforms into a living instance of the Divine's loyalty, motivating everyone around you to look for and trust in this equal promise. Sharing your story isn't about expressing your very own energy, but rather offering witness to the power and love of the Divine. Gratitude undoubtedly arises from a life touched by Divine promise. You found yourself thankful, no longer simply for the times of crisp instruction and evident protection, but also for the invisible ways the Divine works on your life. This thankfulness enhances your relationship with the Divine, turning every second into a chance to perceive and have a wonderful time with the presence and work of the Divine in your life. The warmth and safety you experience motivate you to be more equal to others. Compassion will become a mode of being, a response to the Divine's care for you, and you will also become especially attentive to the wants of people around you, yearning for direction, comfort, and protection. In whatever manner you may, this call to compassion ties you more profoundly with the heart of the Divine, satisfying the promise not only in your own life, but through your service to others, accepting the Divine promise of guiding. Consolation and safety are a lifetime quest. It is a route with ups and downs, times of realism and doubt, but through all of it, the promise holds steadfast, acting as a source of power and a beacon of desire. As you travel this road, you achieve that with the certainty that you are never alone and that the Divine is with you, directing your steps, calming your sorrows, and safeguarding you from danger. This know-how modifies your viewpoint enabling you to peek beyond the immediate to the eternal, past the troubles to the promise. The conviction that you are continually under the Divine's care cultivates an interior tranquility that survives despite your lifestyle storms. This tranquility no longer rests on external circumstances, but on the constant promise of the Divine's presence. While the waves of life threaten to overturn your serenity as you travel with the Divine, you find lightning in vulnerability. Admitting your concerns, uncertainties, and inadequacies offers the potential for the divine to display its power and love in your life. This heavenly power perfects your shortcomings, converting your vulnerabilities into recollections of the divine preserving grace. Guided by the divine, you find a greater sense of purpose. 
The feeling that your existence is part of a wider divine design conjures up intentionality in your choices and actions. This purpose feeds your enthusiasm, leads your activities, and provides meaning to your reports, both ordinary and enormous. No matter the hardships, there is pleasure in this path. It's miles of happiness to be conscious of the Creator's love, direction, and protection. Joy no longer overlooks the reality of agony and trouble, but views them through the prism of heavenly promise. It's a delight that celebrates the presence of the divine in every moment, recognizing grandeur within the brokenness and mildness inside the darkness. Tribulations and tribulations turn out to be transforming studies with the divine's direction, comfort, and protection. You negotiate these tough circumstances today, not as occurrences of sorrow, but as possibilities for progress. Each try refines you, getting rid of what makes no sense and enhancing the real pricing. Via these tales, you end up extra resilient, sympathetic, and attentive to the Divine's message. Your trust in the Divine's promise creates a legacy of religion for others to follow, and your presence becomes a living monument to the power of heavenly direction, solace, and protection. This legacy urges others to seek the Divine, to trust its promises as real, and to delight in the identical counsel, comfort, and protection that have distinguished your experience. The Divine's guarantee, my pricey baby, I'm able to advise, soothe, and protect you. You turn out to be the inspiration around which you create your life. It is a promise that covers each facet of your life, influencing your decisions, forming your relationships, and directing your journey. As you walk in this promise, you do it with the self-belief that comes from knowing you're in no way on your own and that the Divine's presence is a constant reality leading your feet, relaxing your coronary heart, and protecting your root. This trip, marked with the help of divine promise, is filled with discovery, boom, and the unshakable serenity of being deeply and constantly cared for in the quiet times of contemplation. A profound message from the divine echoes inside your soul. My pricey newborn, know that you have a particular place in my heart, and my love for you is unshakable. This promise is delicate and strong and provides a framework for knowledge about your intrinsic worth and the intensity of divine love that embraces your being. From the time you grow to be privy to this heavenly message, you begin to perceive yourself through a different lens. A tremendous sensation of well-being and dignity comes from understanding that the creator of all matters loves you without circumstances. This love isn't necessarily dependent solely on your achievements, your status, or your ability to reciprocate. It's a gift freely offered as a testimonial to your innate significance as a member of the Divine Advent. The assurance that you preserve a particular area of the Divine Coronary Heart leads you to see your courtship with the Divine as specific and intimate. You aren't simply one among many, you are a beloved person identified and adored in detail. This knowledge provides you with a feeling of belonging and importance, eliminating sentiments of loneliness or insignificance. As you negotiate the ups and downs of living, the promise of constant divine love will become a source of comfort and vitality. In moments of fulfillment, you enjoy the pleasure of sharing your successes with a heavenly presence that delights in your happiness in times of failure or sorrow. You may discover comfort and desire in the constancy of divine love, which serves as a reminder that your price is unaffected by external forces. With the awareness of being really liked, you realize that advice and protection are generally offered. God is with me. Choices that, after looking difficult, emerge as clearly as you are seeking to locate and gain hold of, of course, from a loving heavenly supply. Knowing that a loving power is looking out for your best interests, affords you a feeling of comfort while you endure life. The heavenly promise of love and a unique proximity inside the divine coronary heart give repair for your deepest wounded. You experience forgiveness for your faults and errors, not as a rejection of wrongdoing, but as an expression of unconditional love that frees you from the load of guilt and shame. This forgiveness 
also permits you to expand your grace toward others, reflecting the divine love you have experienced. Joy infuses your existence as you live in the light of divine love. Simple joys assume new significance, and appreciation will become your continuous companion. You discover causes to be appreciative in each situation of circumstances, recognizing the manifestations of divine love in the grandeur of nature, the compassion of strangers, and the support of loved ones, the knowledge that you are profoundly loved and preserve a distinctive area in the divine coronary heart inspires you to share love with others. Your relationships are defined by compassion, tenacity, and knowledge, pushed with the assistance of the preference to replicate the divine love that has altered your life. You have got to come to be a... The conduit of love touches the lives of others around you in major ways. Adversity does not vanish. Instead, your response to it changes greatly. With an awareness of your worth and an understanding of divine love, you are able to prevail over challenges. This love will become your anchor, helping you to weather storms with desire and emerge from them with a better awareness of the power that comes from being appreciated unconditionally. Your spiritual path grows as you concentrate on the divine's promise of love. You are looking to grasp and comprehend this love more fully by carrying out routines that lead you nearer the holy coronary heart. Prayer, meditation and contemplation develop to be not only routines, but lifelines that tie you to the source of all love. The divine's everlasting love and guarantee, which you hold in a particular place in its heart, infuse in you a feeling of purpose. You recall that your lifestyle isn't an accident, but a divine design with opportunities to study, progress, and make major contributions to the industry. This aim pushes you to remain purposeful, creating options that represent your ideals and your devotion to conveying divine love in whatever you do. The divine promise, my expensive child, is that you occupy a particular place in my heart and my love for you is unshakable. It evolves into the cornerstone of your lifestyle. It impacts the way you view yourself, the way you connect with others, and the way you tackle life's tough events. This love is a guiding pressure, a source of comfort, and a platform for boom. As you wander through life, you achieve so with the confidence of one who is profoundly loved, treasured, and directed by the divine. This understanding alters your life filling it with pleasure, purpose, and an unshakable feeling of value. In the middle of a lifestyle's upheaval, a spiritual voice penetrates through the noise, offering a message of desire and change. My darling child, your tears will be replaced with tears of pleasure, your pain will be replaced with recovery, and your problems will make way for blessings. This deep and encouraging promise creates a completely new chapter in your life, one whereby sadness is changed into joy, pain into recuperation, and problems into rewards. The trip begins with your tears, which are representations of the trials and tragedies you faced. These tears, as soon as they are bitter, end up delicious, since they may be changed into tears of joy. You start to notice moments of delight and thankfulness that ruin the disappointment, like brightness cutting through clouds. Celebrations enormous and minor end up becoming more regular and laughter finds its way back into your existence. Every second of delight is a reminder of the divine promise, a testimony to the fact that grief isn't the end of your narrative. Pain, both physiological and mental, has been a continuous collaborator. Nonetheless, the promise of healing begins to appear in your lifestyle. This healing is a slow process that develops day by day, touching no longer simply the injuries you could see but those concealed deep within you. Discover the strength to look for aid, the bravery to address the root of your anguish, and solace in activities that feed your body, mind, and spirit. The Divine's presence will become a bomb, easing your suffering and repairing your brokenness, replacing sadness with hope. Your problems, previously apparently impassable barriers, have been converted into fruitful ground for benefits. Demanding conditions that tried your faith and endurance now exhibit their purpose, offering you instructions on electricity, persistence, and style. Opportunities grow up from unforeseen areas, converting old issues 
into stepping stones into a better tomorrow. The Divine's workmanship will become visible in the way your problems weave together to build a tapestry of benefits, everyone a gift that enhances your lives with every tear changed to pleasure, every agony developed to become restoration, and every conflict became a blessing. As your perspective transforms, you begin to perceive life through a lens of thankfulness, identifying the Divine's presence in each scenario. Join our channel if you love Jesus. This new viewpoint helps you to embrace each day with desire, knowing that you are not defined by your previous sufferings, but by the joy, restoration, and benefits that lie ahead. The fulfillment of the divine promise increases your religion, and you grow to trust more firmly in the divine's kindness and timing, understanding that even when the road seems uncertain, you're being guided in the direction of a future full of joy, recovery, and rewards. This religion will become the basis upon which you create your lifestyle, influencing your decisions and molding your relationships with others. The pleasure and healing you feel are not only so that you may keep them, they overflow, impacting the lives of people around you. You emerge as a supplier of encouragement by sharing your experience of change and bringing hope to others who are nevertheless in the thick of their troubles. Your life becomes a sworn testimony to the force of divine love, and the reality of promises fulfilled penetrates your existence. For the huge adjustments and the tiny ones, you discover reasons to be grateful in each scenario, celebrating the growth you have achieved and the benefits yet to come. This mentality of thankfulness brings even more advantages, building a circle of positivity and plenty. Your voyage from tears to joy Anguish to recovery feelings and hardships to rewards creates a legacy of desires for others. Your existence develops into a beacon of light for the ones navigating their particular dark instances, exhibiting them that change is achievable and that the Divine's promises are legitimate. You encourage people to embrace as real the potential of a greater life in which joy, recuperation, and blessings abound. The promise of pleasure healing and advantages signals not the conclusion of your trip, but a new beginning. You still grow, explore, and alter, exposing yourself to the unlimited possibilities that lie ahead. With each breakthrough, you carry with you the lessons gained, the power obtained, and the faith reinforced through your study. Your tears will be replaced with tears of pleasure, your pain will be replaced with recuperation, and your problems will make way for rewards. It's a pledge that takes you through the darkest nights into the dawn of fresh beginnings. As you travel this road of change, you achieve it with a heart full of thankfulness, eyes open to the majesty of the trip, and a spirit attuned to the endless love and faithfulness of the divine. Your life is a vibrant painting of joy and healing, and its advantages stand as a monument to the electricity of heavenly promise, inspired desires, and religion in the hearts of everyone who sees your narrative. As you go ahead, the joy, healing, and benefits you've experienced build a greater sense of network and connection. You recognize that your path isn't always pretty much about your own change. It's also about how your account interacts with the stories of others. The Divine's paint on your existence will become a catalyst for forging connections, offering support, and creating locations whereby others may share their very own. Trips of warfare and redemption, empathy, understanding, and a common feeling of cause toughen your ties with different humans and function, in addition to the evidence that no one must travel their route on their own. The fundamental changes in your lifestyle motivate you to remain extra mindful. Every decision, action, and interaction is loaded with intent driven by the desire to mirror the love, recovery, and advantages you've acquired. You grow to be extra conscious of the method you spend a while, the connections you nurture, and the causes you support, attempting to have a high-quality impression on the worldwide community around you. This intentionality no longer just enhances your life, but also acts as an example to others, displaying the transformational energy 
of existing in harmony with divine guidance and charm. The promise of pleasure, healing and rewards signals the start of a lifetime journey of learning and exploration. You stay open to new instructions, insights and opportunities for development, understanding that the divine's job for your life is never complete. Each celebration, whether joyous or unpleasant, transforms into a schoolroom and every person you encounter is a teacher. This mentality of humility and openness makes sure that your trip is undoubtedly one of frequent change, developing your connection to the divine and the world around you. The metamorphosis you've gone through empowers you with resilience, a trait that helps you negotiate challenging conditions of destiny with grace and courage. This resilience is founded on the divine's committed presence in your life, bringing guidance, solace, and safety. You methodically set limits with a balanced viewpoint, regarding them as potential for growth in place of impassable barriers. Your perseverance develops into a source of inspiration for others, indicating that it is conceivable to emerge from hardships more powerful and grounded. The capacity to unfurl desire in a world that frequently exhibits skepticism and depression is one of the most crucial results of your trip. Your narrative transforms into a beacon of light, offering physical proof of the possibilities of transformation and rebirth. You measure your recollections no more as faraway reminiscences, but as alive tales of the divine's continuing paintings in the world. This desire isn't inert. It encourages motion, motivating you and others to deal with life's hard events with bravery and hope. As you hang on to your way, you discover reason in every season of your life. The divines guarantee that your tears, anguish, challenges and struggles will make way for joy, recovery and benefits, which become a prism through which you perceive each other. Trusting that every season has its own importance and contribution to your typical experience, this feeling of reason delivers purpose to your studies, remodeling even the ordinary into possibilities for boom and service. Ultimately, your path develops into a reflected reflection of heavenly love. The affection that has guided, healed and blessed you flows through you to others, making you an incarnation of that love on a worldwide scale. Your life develops into a testimony to the transformational force of divine love. A love that is affected, kind and endless via your words, acts and presence. You offer the sector a peek into the divine coronary heart, urging others to luxuriate in the identical love that has transformed their lives. The divine promise that your tears may be replaced with tears of gladness. Your agony over recovery and your challenges with blessings have transformed your whole life. It has converted your existence right into a narrative of want, resilience and divine love. A story that no longer simply talks to the depths of your very own metamorphosis, but additionally gives mild and concept to those around you as you march each fresh inside the guarantee of this promise. You accomplish this as a beacon of desire, a vessel of recuperation and a harbinger of benefits, a case in point of the divine's persistent determination to convey beauty from ashes, joy from sadness and blessings from hardships. Thanks for watching. In case you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Amen.